Sanchez, interestingly, up out early on court. That will make her feel better. Perfectly placed there from Sanchez. Two points in a row. That is encouraging. I think taking out some frustration in that smash as well. Well, class, an attacking play in the end from Alietto sisters. 30-15. Good volleying there for Mappy. Last long. Too heavy handed. And we're at three all in the opening set. Well, hopefully, for, for them, Sanchez and Jose Maria, that chat at the last change of ends has done them a bit of good. It was an intense conversation between those two and the coach. Old. Good enough for Mappy and Jose Maria all over that. Charging forward to deal with the smash. Igual es fifteen or three good points in a row right now. A difficulty for Jose Maria and Sanchez. Making the most of the good fortune off the net cord. 
quickly into that attacking position at the net after this. Knew that was our opportunity to get forward. Up and out of the court there. That's four metres high at the back of the court. Three metres at the side. Well, it's a brilliant combination of shots there from Sanchez. Both very accurate, hit low and hard. That just opened up the middle of the court there, and she was on it with a backhand volley. That's where the space was. They now have a break point. That was Mappi and Maggio that had the initial break points, didn't convert. And they take their first bueno. opportunity. Jose Maria Sanchez. They take the break point. Jose Maria Sanchez and they take the lead in the opening set in this first semi-final of the day. Four games to three. with a break now in this opening set. Sanchez to serve. Zero quince. Law fifteen. Quince iguales. Nicely done. 15 on. Jose Maria there getting across and getting it into that corner, making it awkward. Oh. 
Touch. Oh, well, you knew the smash was coming because Mappy not really doing enough with that previous shot. It was a slight miss hit. 30-15. But losing the point here, even though she got a racket to the ball there, stepping into the net, that is not allowed. Well played. They were scrambling there, Sanchez and Jose Maria, and they made the most of it. On. The big power once again. Close to not going over, but it did. Such good vision there from Sanchez. 40, 30. Delicate shot to get 30. up the line. Lots of side spin to it. Uh, consolidate the break of serve with a hold of their own. Good service game from Sanchez. Difficult to time that. Maybe expecting that to come off the top of the net cord or ended up second guessing herself. Super get. Well, given Ariana Sanchez the run around in that point. She was hoping this was going to come off the back wall, but no chance. Well over the back there. Oh, Maggio. That's twice now in this opening set where she's had the ball to finish on or really attack. She's missed it in the net. Just dragging that ball down. All set up by the soft angle. That Mappy found there. Super shot to set up the finish.
Juego eh, 40-15. OG 15. Well, I didn't see that coming. The twins. Still a couple of game points, though. difficult for Mappy there stretching out to a right the sharp angle that Mr. Maria found there that is nasty to deal with physically very difficult to get down and across to Oh, lost complete control of that. Couldn't keep it down. Murat Juice. Juice. Well, this would be a bonus for Sanchez and Jose Maria if they were to break and take the opening set here. What a shot. How good was that from Jose Maria on the turn to keep it as low as she did. Probably take Mackie, took Mappy by surprise. Didn't expect that. That was so skillful. From Jose Maria. And out of nowhere in this game, they've got set point. The top seeds a point away. Can you believe it? They steal that game away and they take the opening set. The top seeds have managed to get through it. And they take it six games to three. This one right off the top of the racket. A couple of disappointing shots in that game for Majo. Up overhead. Two big errors. be a, a fair bit of relief right now for, for all three here because it was inauspicious from certainly Sanchez the first half of that first set she was really struggling to find a consistency in her A game but that should now just settle them you would imagine try and go through the gears Tiempo. 
numbers from that opening set. Sanchez and Jose Maria, more unforced errors than Ayeto sisters, but ended up still winning the set. But things got better second half of the set, first set for them. And of course, Maggio and Mappi had the initial break points early on in that first set, didn't take their chances. Off the fencing, the unpredictable bounce again. And that's gone long as well. Looking like a love hold here. Beginning of the second set for Sanchez and Jose Maria. Just what they were looking for after taking the open, opening set just moments ago. A quick, sharp hold to start this second set. Alieto sisters need to get themselves going early in this second set. Put that first set behind them. No, oh, we had everything in that rally. Some glorious touch from Sanchez and Jose Maria, but Mappi and Maggio were able to still come out on top. Hard fought point that. is maneuvering the ball around so well. Here's Jose Maria, what a bit of skill. Look how low she got down to that backhand. And just yeah. curling it into that corner. Seriously good touch. Didn't find the feel that time. Yeah. 
Left a bit high from Majo. And Sanchez able to capitalize. Got it done second time round. Big point to win. First service game wow, of this second set for them. All the 30. And 30 all as well. So the pressure was there. Two very difficult balls to deal with up the middle there for Sanchez and Jose Maria, but they're able to handle them, both going for the same ball there. And right off the top edge of the racket there from Jose Maria. Good call, just landing long. Have not dropped their focus in this second set, the Twins. And that's a very good hold. Open. Their account in this second set. Not good enough from Sanchez there. Easy put away for Majo. Not enough on the smash, and Sanchez able to capitalize. Easy dunk for her in the end. Not under a whole lot of pressure on serve this second set so far. Sanchez and Jose Maria. And another good hold. Jose Maria Sanchez. Stress free. Jose Maria Sanchez ganan dos juegos a uno. 
Two games to one. En un mundo donde los detalles marcan la diferencia. And serve. En la pista. Two one. No iba a ser menos. Precisión, agilidad y equilibrio son fundamentales para alcanzar la Escuchame una cosa, la pelota que te viene cruzada de Paulita, porque te aprieta con la volea derecha, cuando la vayas a sacar, trata de sacarla por el paralelo. ¿Entendés? No vuelvas a jugar la cruzada, ni le cambies el plano, porque si vas para arriba, la pelota viene muy rápida como para sacarla de globo. Apuntando la volea de revés de Ari y tirarle ahí. Ya sé que es difícil, ¿no? No, es fácil, pero creo que es mejor tiro. No sé, pero Mapi, si la pelota te viene cruzada. Bueno, la que nos haces en el entrenamiento mil veces que nos ponen. A mí me la hace 27 veces. Eso, ponle incómoda a ella, no pongan la incómoda a nosotros en el entrenamiento. Marco y Mapi, la dos. Vamos a utilizar también un poquito más el centro cuando volvemos a atacar, que el centro al principio nos pagaba mucho. Está bien porque alguien está con mejor dinámica ahora en el rincón. Vamos a castigar el centro. Vamos. Vamos, ah, valiente, valiente. No pasa nada. Con poca recriminación, viejo. No, es que le digo, hace una víbora. Dice, no, me la traigo con la chorra. No, o sea, sí, sí, la la pala. Sanchez knew she'd just given that too much as soon as she struck it. Just, just tell by the body language. Let the service. That's how low it comes off the back there. That's what's so difficult, straight down off the back wall. Just in that attacking position and not able to defend well enough. Alieto sisters are scrambling there. Uh, it's just wide. 40, 15. Juego. Well Ali, dealt Ali. with Sanchez's angle very well there, Majo. That could have taken her by surprise, but she was able to steady herself. Two games Once off. that ball came off the fencing here.
Oh. Yes. What a great point. Everyone appreciating how good that was. Check this out. Got the touch. And she was there waiting for it, Jose Maria. It's livened up the crowd in here as well. Well, they're just in that attacking position. Maggio and Mappi defending with all they had. It was just a very calm, classy end to that point. In the end, finding the angle, finding the, the side fencing there. Two excellent points in this game so far. Highly entertaining. Looking like another love hold here. I'll make it. This could be three in a row now in this set. And it is. Five games played. And we are on serve still. And it's Sanchez and Jose Maria that lead three games to two. Focusing on their own serve at the minute, Alayeto sisters not getting much joy on return. Just got to stick with their opponents right now. Ok. 
15 se da 15 That's another Zero, error that she shouldn't have Long made second. there. And that's put them under a whole lot of pressure now. Good reflexes there from Sanchez, but that's not a ball that she should be missing. Jose Maria coming with the touch and the power as well in that point, Zero showing her class. That uh, brings up three break points. This would be a major move towards tomorrow's final. And they get gifted it with another error. Disappointing game for Mappi and Maggio. Very similar to the opening set, the game that they got broken at the end. Too many errors in a row. She's got that, and it's in. Oh, oh too much. Sanchez is only just landing in. This was a great get there. I measure that. Barely losing points on serve. Actually have not lost a point on serve yet in this second set, Sanchez and Jose Maria. That touch combined with the injection of pace. Extremely impressive from Jose Maria once again. That's long, and they're just the game away now. Another love hole for Sanchez and Jose Maria. A lot more solid in this second set from them. 
Set and 5-2 up. Serving to stay in this semi final. Keen to close it out here. Zero, Complete control Zero, of that 15. rally. Sanchez and Jose Maria edging closer. Just wide, Zero and a couple of points away now. Low 30. seen too many misses like that from Jose Mira for quite a while. She's been so good in those sort of positions. And that error now brings up two match points for Sanchez and Jose Maria. Sadly, just started to fade in this second set. It goes long, and that will do it. That's back-to-back -back finals for Ariana Sanchez and Paolo Jose Maria on the Premier Pal Tour.
made the final last week in Rome and now into the final here at the P1 event in Madrid. Once they got going, they were too tough. Cut out, in the, uh, cut out the unforced errors. They raised their game and they ran away with it in the end. They'll be delighted with that. Tough moments in that first set. But they managed to get themselves through it. Claudio, the coach, will be very happy with that. He was earning his money in that first set, trying to convince them to stick with it, get their level a little bit higher, and it came in that second set. Lob just ultimately just landing too deep in the court. And the backhand volley, should I say, just lost control of it. Back to back finals now on the Premier Paddle Tour for these two. The top seeds here this week are looking to go one better than last week, where they lost out in the final. And we should be hearing from our winners very shortly. They are down on the court. Just confirmation of the score, the victory for Sanchez and Jose Maria. And the match stats. Down the unforced errors, just a few too many from the Alietto sisters. Ultimately, 25 to the 11 winners for Sanchez and Jose Maria. So showed their class in that department. And four of nine break points converted. That was a telling number. Ahora sí. Buenos días, Madrid. Now, yes. Bienvenidos Good y morning, Madrid, and welcome to the semi-finals of the P1 Madrid. Un Madrid. Que nos han Big applause for the four players that they offer us an amazing game. Las número uno siguen en the pie, number one en el camino, stands y on the first de place. Padel, la segunda consecutiva they finally Paula arrived to their Ariana Ariana Sánchez, second final. Ari Juan, importante fue Premier ese Padre. break en el primer set. Me parece que para ponerse 4 a 3 después ya de tener un juego arrollador, poder cerrar ese primer set Ari, y contaros cómo viviste, your... cuánta intensidad, por lo menos de afuera se vio así. Have... ¿Cómo viviste este encuentro? How did you leave bienvenida a una nueva this final. Game, bueno, uh, eh, from your part and welcome to the buenos final. Buenos días, Madrid. Es un placer Good morning to aquí. all. Good, Good morning, Madrid. It's a pleasure to be in here and see so much people in the court. Y nada, eh, teníamos un partido súper difícil contra But las gemelas de a game really hard uh, against the twins that they are a reference for us, for all the young that we were coming and I grew up with them, so it's always a pleasure and an honor to play against them. We were trying to get some solutions on the, uh, with the coach and we tried to follow a, a path that gave us the way to the final. And we finally get a great job to doing this. It's our first time here at home and we hope we're gonna get it. So thank you so much. Bueno, claramente encontraron esas soluciones, Paula. Of course, we can see you clearly got this uh, solutions. Paula, we could see a great job. You were so strong with your right hand. And Tell us, reflejo, ¿no? what de happened las cuatro, en realidad, pero outside para salvar esa pelota, ese punto uh, when you que were able to save Bienvenida that point that it was so hard? Final. Welcome to a new bueno, final. Eh, primero, well, first of all, aquí. thank Desde you so much pista, to everybody no, no gente, to be here. Inside of the court, we cannot see the gracias. amount of people, but now thank you to everybody. Y, Lo segundo, yo creo que me sumo un poco a las palabras también de Ari, de and que al principio nos costó un poquito uh, más, pero entre todos encontramos el camino. Así que ahí está, words of Ari. Feliz, contento, we are so happy to be here. The twins are always a, a hard game. They, had, they have an amazing level. And what can I say? Of course, I'm so happy. We, we know how to fight. We know how to stand the long points. We know how to keep our level. So actually, I'm so 
happy. And tomorrow, another final, trying to give everything with the team. And uh, thank you so much to Madrid. We'll see you tomorrow. Afuera, el punto que salvaste afuera, que en realidad te la tocan afuera y vos también, y después cierra Ari el punto. No, no, eso fue cosa de. de yeah, that ball that ¿no? was outside and you were <laughs> following, que que and así, finally bueno, Ari was able to finish it. Yeah, it was así just the intuition to follow the ball and be able to do an sí, amazing point. Gracias, Ari, muchas gracias, We hope Paula. you enjoyed the Quédense game, ahí, of course. Thank you so much. And don't leave because we keep with yeah, the very semifinals. Happy here in with Madrid the victory Arena. and Barbara Vitantonio with the, quest the questions there and uh, just confirmation of the results. Sanchez and Jose Maria make it through to tomorrow's final. The winners today 6-3, 6-2. So don't go too far. Away. That's the first of our four semifinals done and the next one will be a men's semifinal. Just they have taken their place there. In bueno, the middle of the screen into tomorrow's final, they'll await the winners of Fria Ortega or Bria or Gonzalez. Back to back finals for the top seeds. So don't go too far away. Our next match just moments away. A men's semi final.
puerta que ahora mismo tiene el logo Madrid Premier para el P1, que es de LED, donde vamos a ver unas lucecitas que van de fuera adentro cada vez más rápido. Esa es la señal para que el público caliente la pista y vayamos dando los aplausos para que los jugadores salgan con la motivación que merece una semifinal, ¿vale? Así que cuento con vosotros para que en la vuelta atrás les demos esos aplausos a ritmo de las luces. Semi-final day in Madrid at the Madrid Arena for the Premier Paddle P1 event. Lovely as always to have your company. First semi-final has been played, contested and finished and on its way an absolute cracker. So stay white where you are with the players about to enter the arena. There's a buzz about the arena as we check out the road to the final. These are the four teams remaining. And look to the right-hand side. This is the match we have on its way for you to start things off as the music builds, the atmosphere builds, all playing for a place in tomorrow's Premier Paddle Madrid P1 final. We have the finalists from Rome. We have the winners in Rome. We don't have the top seeds anymore. Quality running through the semi-finals. Federico Cingotto and Paquito Navarro, Momo Gonzalez and Sanyo Gutierrez. Third seeds against the seventh. With the players about to be introduced onto the arena, into the center court here in Madrid. The spectators are clapping. The players are about to be introduced. The seventh seeded pairing and what a pairing. First tournament together was the end of April on the left for the baseball capital, Momo Gonzalez. To his right, Sanyo Gutierrez. 14th and 12th respectively in the individual rankings. They are the seventh seeds here in Madrid. Came through against Duneno and Stupachuk in the quarterfinals after an unfortunate retirement by Stupachuk, but they had taken the first set. They have come together very, very well and have a really good chance of reaching the Madrid final. the final they will have to defeat runners up in Rome the third seeds and also a new pairing in 2023 Federico Chingotto who waves the crowd and Paquito Navarro they're the eighth and seventh ranked best players in the world of paddle right now an Argentinian Spanish combination on either side of the net today place in the P1 final up for grabs a final that Paquita Navarro got to last year alongside Martín de Neno. We're dealing with big hitters in the men's game. So get yourself settled. So I think we're in for a treat in this semi-final. Fede Samper. 
officials being introduced. And a few bits and pieces to go through in the middle. Start with a little photo. Don't know if that's tactics or just a little chat between the two. Senor Semper likes to be involved in the player's photo, so there he is. It's just Gutierrez and Chingotto. No one wants to do it. He's got no choice, he was pointed at. They were both very quick, so not me, him. No, him, you, him. Eventually, Senor Semper said you. And they didn't win it anyway. Now a little bit of time to get to know those involved. Just joining us for the first time, boy, you've come at a good time. Semi-final stage of four big players in the world of men's paddle. Starting with this young man, 26-year-old Federico Chingotto from Argentina, nickname of El Raton. He was number one in Argentina at the age of 19. Alongside Nikito Navarro, 34 years of age, Navarro, former world number one, nickname of the Hurricane. Started playing at the age of five, to have professional in 2009. These days lives in Madrid. Down the other end, we've got Momo Gonzalez, 26 years of age, from Spain. Lived in Madrid for a long, long time, so it's very special for him to be at this stage of this tournament. Started 2022 with Alex Ruiz. Ruiz made the decision to split the partnership in March. He's come together with a man alongside him today. Sanyo Gutierrez, 38 years of age. In the name of El Nago de San Luis, the magician of San Luis, where he's from in Argentina. Now lives in Madrid, been playing the sports since the age of 11. As a pair, they lost in the first round of Rome. warm-up to loosen up the arm to get the legs moving to settle in for the match ahead three tie break sets and great lows on the paddle for Gutierrez. Get down on himself very, very quickly, so relies on his partner, in this case, Momo Gonzalez, to keep his spirits up, to keep it positive. Paquito Navarro spent time with the former partner of Federico Chingotto, Juan Teo, and for that, he moved to the right side. In his drive position. He'd never played it before. He said he was willing to do it to give the partnership a try. As Teo plays the backhand court. The partnership didn't work out. They weren't getting the results they wanted. And it does seem a more natural fit with Federico Chingotti, who does play drive. Really strong defensive skills, allowing Navarro to finish off the points. Very strong off the back wall, Pito Navarro. A lot of versatility around the net, as has his partner. And runners up in Rome got together at the end of April. Navarro won over 20 titles in his career. He's a former world number one, so much experience. He also can have some highs and lows on a paddle court. 
can go through purple patches, switch off, come back. Quite sure what's coming next. Quite an enigmatic figure. The steadiness comes from Chingoto. Remember, Gonzalez, hit by many in the world of paddle, to be one of the greats. Sometimes it's about finding that connection, that partner. It was with Alex Ruiz for a long time. They spent 2022 together, committed to 2023. And then in March, Gonzalez was quite surprised when Ruiz announced he was leaving. Se ha procedido al sorteo, resultado vencedor a la pareja Chingoto Navarro, eligiendo restar. Un minuto. Confirmation that Federico Samper is in the chair and that André Benvenuto away alongside us in the commentary box. Two challenges per team per set, should they need them. Wonderful video right now on the Premier Paddle account on Instagram showing you how they erected the court here at the Madrid Arena. Definitely well worth a look. This is the third event of the 2023 Premier Paddle calendar. The men will move to Mendoza for the P1 event in July. That's very shortly they'll be heading there pretty soon the week after next especially those who've gone deep here in Madrid. So another couple of minutes. Just time to have a final word with the coaches who we can speak to whenever they're off the court, apart from after the first game of the set, which is not an official change. But other than that, every time they leave the cage, they can speak with their coaches. Should be very important on this both good front runners. Confirmation we are this week at the Madrid Arena hosting the Premier Paddle P1 event. God We're going to be watching the third season Federico Chigotto and Paquito Navarro take on the seventh season Momo Gonzalez and Sanyo Tieres. Spanish colleagues before we enter the commentary boxes. A couple of them tipping this to be the tie of the day. It has all the potential, has all the ingredients. And it will be Sanya Gutierrez to serve. Va a dar comienzo el partido. Tomen asiento, por favor. Les recuerdo que no está permitido el uso del flash. Al servicio. Daniel Gutiérrez. Ford. Pero quince, lo fifteen. Also elected to receive, having won the toss. 
which you often see, trying to test out the nerves of your opponents in the early stages. So there's a lot at stake here, a place in the final of the Premier Paddle P1 events. A lot of prize money and a lot of points. Each winning player will take away a thousand points towards their world ranking. Enough top spin on that ball, and it flew off the back wall. 30 iguales. 30 or. A little look around himself 30, there, 40, Gonzalez. 30, but it was angled well. It just flicked off the side wall and the back wall and left Gonzalez with very little room for manoeuvre. Break point. Sat up at a perfect height for Federico Chingotto to smash it away. Draw first blood. They get the break with the first break point opportunity. And they lead one love in this semi final, the first of the men's semi finals to be played today. Al servicio, Federico Chingoto. Tomen asiento, por favor. Lots of moving around, a wonderful crowd. Only that can host over 9,000 for this paddle event. Perfect way to spend your Saturday. Shelter from the heat outside, although it has cooled down a little bit. Good use of the Bandeka for the first couple, drops it short, then uses the power to win the point. 15 love. Net. Gran servicio. from the third seeds. 30 love. Chingotto coming forward off the serve, and the serve is really just about getting the ball away and getting yourself up to the net. He's not the tallest, 1 metre 70, Chingotto, but he packs a punch. And the key there was to get enough spin and the right angle so it clipped the wall as you saw and sent itself out of the cage and out of the reach of Gonzalez.
leapt into it, almost a little bit too close to the net. Very flat shot with that volley. 40, 30. It was all about consolidating the break for the third siege, which they duly did. Tomen asiento, por favor. Quinta cero, fifteen love. Quince iguales. Fifteen all. So it was going to be very difficult for Gonzalez and Gutierrez to win that point for the position 15, they 30. held in the court. 15-30. Good offensive play. Good the player at the net, refusing to back down. Just bunching up the body of Chingotto for the error. Wasn't high enough. Didn't have to leap that much. Keaton Navarro's not the tallest at five foot nine. Up he went. Down it went. Opportunity here for a double break.
perfect placement. Ventaja González Gutiérrez. Hard and direct to the feet of Navarro to save the break point. Excellent disguise from Gutierrez, shaped up for power, went for touch, and they're on the board. We have played 11 minutes of this semi-final, and it's the third seed with a break, Tomen asiento, por favor. Espere, espere. Tomen asiento, por favor. Gracias. Everyone sat down, quiet, in the seats, no moving. Come on, people. We have a semi-final to play. Jueguen. Here we go. Paquito Navarro. Himself. Gingotti got himself in a good 0, position. 15, love 15. Oh, brilliantly played. Again and again, the ball was going up and high. Just touches it over, pushes it over the net. Too much for Gutierrez to do. 15 iguales, 15 all.
again. Gengotto comes out on top. This time, it's the placement of the shot into the corner. Oh, fabulous. He's got such versatility on the volley, 40, Navarro. 40, 15. You saw it there on the backhand side. Just what he's capable of. Game points for 3 1. Enough spin on the ball to take it out of the cage and take them to 3 1 first Four. set. Navarro Chingoto, tres juegos a uno, three games to one. Pero 15 love. Treinta cero. Thirty love. Saw the gap wasn't covered. See Gonzalez was leaning the other way. Fox oh, them. Slight hesitation between the two. And not enough power on the ball to bring it back into court. Close out to 15, so just the one breaker serve that came in the very first game of this semi-final separates the two. 20 minutes played, the third team lead with a break 3-2. Viste que estamos ahí, llevamos el humo. Claro, descansamos en el fondo y dominamos, manejamos. Dale. Bien, ¿eh? Bien, Paco, bien. Cuando me gusta tengo que tocar el más suave, que no le dé rebote. A los pies y que no le dé rebote. Vamos a agradecer que el fin de defensa creo que es más. Con la bandeja moco, de momento no se anima. Eso eh, es la más lenta. ¿no? Sancho también, fíjate con lo que bola más lenta, la derecha va. Sí, pues encima no le da rebote, la deja sí. entrar, se le muere. Sí, y aparte sí. nosotros tenemos tiempo a acomodarnos. En cambio, con la rápida, toca no, el. Y aparte, puedo, cuando me viene el globo de momento, tengo como más abierto el tiempo que siempre decimos. Ahí estás eligiendo perfecto, sigue sí, igual. Sí, ¿sabes por qué? Porque no estás comprando la desesperación. Tomen asiento, por favor. Gracias. Tiempo.
Tomen asiento, por favor. Oh, such a good recovery to that point from Navarro. He did all the hard work. Pero 15. Love 15. Pero 30. Love 30. Down the line, just tops the side of the wall. Must bounce on the court before the back of the side walls. Perfect placement into the body of Chingotto and opportunities to get us back on serve in this first set. Sanya Gutierrez's serve was broken in the first game. Good play, it's a loud play. Little, I'm sorry, I'm not really sorry following it, but that's how you're going to win the point. Into the body, could not get out of the way, bunched him up completely. No harm done. Still a couple of break points with which to get us back on serve in this first set. Oh, what a volley off the backhand side into the corner. They get the point, they get the break, it's three games all. Wonderful defence from Navarro and Chingotto to eventually draw the error in the first Pero point 15. of game seven. Love 15. Quince iguales. Fifteen all.
There's the cry. He knew it wasn't going to land in. It was going to go straight into the back wall. 15 30. 15-40. Opportunities to regain the lead in this first set with Gutierrez and Gonzalez having just got this set back on serve after being broken in the first game. Now it's the Gonzalez serve that's under threat. They set up nicely. There's not a lot he could do off the back wall, Navarro. 30, 30, 40. Flew off the racket of Chingotto, could see what he was trying to do. He put under a lot of pressure. Great point to save. Juice. Juice. Perfect point. They're able to get themselves forward, go on the attack, force their opponents back, and then find the ball through the middle. So 15 40 down, game point to go ahead for the first time in this first set. 20 seconds between the point points to get the ball away. They never really go over, it's pretty quick between points. Just didn't have any pace to work with getting the slow balls from Navarro and Chingotto. <laughs> Stood firm. Navarro <laughs> Chingotto. Most important 
shot in paddle to win the points, the volley. Obligates your opponents to defend. Puts them on the back foot. Third opportunity to get the break. And there it is. Third time lucky for Chingotto and Navarro who regain the lead as they regain the break. 4-3, first set. No, pero... Jugamos tres puntos al revés. Él me canta, atrás chingo, le tiro un lobo a Paco. Yo le canto, sube Paco, le tira a Paco. Atrás Paco, le tira chingo. Los tres puntos como revés. Y bueno, pero a Paco se la bajé bien. A chingo no está, ¿no? Sí, pero el... lo que yo digo es como que si yo... Vos me decías atrás chingo y yo en vez de tirar el lobo a Paco, le tiro la mierda, le tiro abajo a Paco y te la pone en paralelo. Y te digo, no, pues si la tiré bien, no pasa nada, pero vos me cantaste atrás chingo, vos estás siguiendo la jugada para allá. Entonces, al final nos terminamos engañando entre los dos. Vos me decías atrás chingo y yo tiro un globo afuera, boludo. Soy... Soy... ¿Entendés lo que te digo? Vale, vale. final vamos, terminan vamos, haciendo vamos. un break vamos, con tres errores de, de, de mala decisión en el canto. Y no está mal cantado. O sea, vos me cantas perfecto atrás chingo y tiro un globo afuera paralelo. ¿Cuál es el sentido? Tiempo. Está jugando muy bien el terreno, está jugando muy bien paralelo, eh. Vamos, vamos, vamos. 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 Vamos, there was a lot that Sanyo Gutierrez felt he needed to say. He can get down on himself, he can get very negative. An opposite personality to Momo Gonzalez. It will be Gonzalez's job to keep him positive. Sometimes it's just a case of listening and let them say what they have to say. Navarro, 34 years of age now, Piquis Navarro. Tomen asiento, por favor. Once we get everyone sat down. Espere, espere. Por favor, tomen asiento. Just any seat will do. Grab one, sit down. Por go. favor, utilicen el descanso de los jugadores para abandonar o entrar a su localidad. Los jugadores están preparados para jugar, por favor. There's a little chunk in the stadium that, for some reason, they all suddenly file down the stairs. Jueguen. Great vision, just saw the move inside from Navarro, he's not the fastest. The players, Lock never has 30. been. It's certainly very difficult, you saw that move. Towards the center, just left enough of a gap to open up a love 30 lead.
Oh, wow! It just needed the slightest of touches. He got the slightest of touches. That is point one. That is triple break point. Take a look at this. It's all it needed. Just skimming the side of the racket. Zero, 40. Love, 40. To get us back on serve once again. to execute the Chiquita Leg Gonzalez. 15-40. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Not quite. Juice. Iguales. Juice. Great pressure from both Gonzalez and Gutierrez holding the net. Ventaja Gonzalez Gutierrez. Fourth break point opportunity. This to get us back on serving the first set of this first men's semi final. And there it is. We're back on serve. He discards the spare ball in disgust, Navarro. Because once again, Gonzalez and Gutierrez have broken back to get us back on serve. Big game coming up now. Four all in the first set. Segundo servicio. Sanyu Gutierrez, yeah, Gutierrez started playing this year with what? Fernando Balastigin, fellow Argentinian. Won more than 20 titles in his career, Gutierrez, similar to Navarro, both very experienced players. Iguales, 15 or
the angle. If it was able to be found, it drew up the short Thank ball. That There's that backhand volley on the angle. And then the smash into the body of Navarro. Effective. on the strike 30 from Gutierrez it's a very important point after 43 minutes now four games all 30 all Oh, the gap was there. He left it, Navarro. Again, he made the move to the center. He was playing on the other side that he normally plays 40, on. 30, plays in the backhand corner, 40, the drive 30. position. But there's a big, big gap he left. And Gonzalez said, thank you very much. Point for 5-4. It's a good play to go back behind Navarro if you can. They hold, they lead Juego on serve. 5-4, business end of set one of the first four. of the men's semi-finals. Por, por esquivar, tiramos una... No, 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 una de, no, no, estamos en, no, no, sí está perfecto, pero que no es que lo estamos esquivando. Estamos, estamos tirando mal, ¿ves? Fíjate, le tiraste los paralelos a la tiró afuera. Fíjalo, fíjalo. Y hay, momen, hay momentos que Sancho, ya, ya veo. Ahí en la ventaja abajo, no le tiene la víbora paralela a Sancho. Sí, no, no, no. Cambiamos, si no lo vamos a quemar, no lo cambiamos, porque el flaco me inicia bien la jugada, está sacando buenas pelotas. Vayan tomando asiento. Tiempo. Spectators are going to be going anywhere now at 5 4 at the first set. Very much business end of this first set. Tiempo. Looking at the Gonzalez and Gutierrez bench, this time it's the coach doing all the talking. Gutierrez settled. And this is Peter Navarro, talking to Gabby Recker, their coach. So, for the first time in this first set, Gonzalez and Gutierrez lead. We are on serve, and now Federico Chingotto is serving to stay nuevas, in the first set, and he's serving with new balls. Oh, misses. You heard the thud of the perspex at the back. Chingo 
Tomato is actually building Chingolandia. Guarda en silencio, por favor. The town of Colavaria in Argentina. A place where he wants to bring people together using paddle. for Navarro. He had all the time in the world to wait for it to come down to the perfect height. The knifing through with the backhand volley. Again, second in a row, lovely height for Navarro. 40 0. Four kilo. The accuracy into the far corner, literally pinning Gonzalez to the cage. Game points for five all. Let me make sure Perspex glasses as clean as possible because it can affect how the ball comes off it. Oh. They got there in the end. They hold to love. It's five games all. Cinco juegos iguales, five games all. Gonzalez to serve. Very little to choose between the two. 33 Pero points 15. to 31 Not in 15. terms of points won in this first set. Navarro and Chingotto just edging that stat.
got it. They stayed patient. They played the long game. They waited for the perfect ball. Amazing how many resets and shifts you can get in just one point. Five all, 15 all. The closeness of this first set continues. So he was trying to change direction. This from Navarro as he just saw the gap down the line. He's going to look to flick it across court. touch again it's all that's needed points to guarantee themselves a tie break in the first set the seventh seeded pairing in the world number 14 and 12th respectively of Momo Gonzalez and Sanyo Gutierrez Space, 40, 30, a lot of to work with 40, there. Devara had it covered. The sorry Iguales. is because Dude. the net played its part in that point. From a comfortable position, just slightly less comfortable on at juice at five all. Ventaja González Gutiérrez. Daniel Gutierrez, known more commonly as Sanyo. And Geronimo Gonzalez, known as Momo. Getting a lot of joy for the backhand side, Navarro. Did move to that dry position for around 18 months. Manteo, if that. A lot more comfortable with the backhand court. A lot more comfortable with that overhead, Gonzalez. Ventaja, González Gutiérrez. Play on. 
11th game, first set. Iguales. 58 Deuce. minutes on the match clock. Premier Paddle P1 event in Madrid. Oh, lovely dipping ball. The Chiquita from Chingotto. Somehow they keep it alive. And juice in the 11th game. Oh, more skill from the Argentinian. has not got it. They were just about enough on that ball. The point goes to the server. Ventaja González Gutiérrez. Couple of incredible bits of skill in that point from Ferri Chingotto. They got it. They've held. It wasn't easy. Well, Cuddle there for Gonzalez from his partner. Because they've guaranteed themselves a tie break in this first set with a 6 5 lead. Ahora. Si nos apresuramos, un cambio. No. Eso, si nos vamos a apresurar que saco la víbora. Perfecto. Eso iba a decir. Si nos vamos a tomar riesgo, tomamos riesgo los dos con la víbora en diagonal. ¿Vale? Yo lo sacudo chingo y si, si se me equivoca hay que pescar. O si hay contragolpe aparece el Eso, vamos a tener un más. Si apretamos, si después nos hacemos. Tiempo. Una cosa, acuérdate la de la lateral que habíamos dicho de Paquito. Esa es Juan Wick. Vaya tomando asiento, por favor. Ahora vamos a tener un fijo, ¿eh? Víborazo, que tenemos mucha víbora. Venga, vamos, vamos. Tiempo. A couple of calls of time, and we've got one in the cage, two in the cage. And very shortly, we will have the final two, and we'll be ready to play on. Serving to stay in the first set. Silencio, por favor. Navarro. Guarden silencio, por favor. Gracias. Not yet four o'clock. Second of the four semifinals we have here across the men's. Por favor, tome asiento. Can't be moving around now. Six five in the first set. Four.
15-0. 15 love. From Chingoto. 40 0. 40 0. Kept it clean, kept it flat. Points for the tie break. First set will be decided after an hour and five minutes on the tiebreak. Nothing to choose between them. We had four breaks to serve that began in the very first game when Gutierrez and Gonzalez were caught cold. They broke back in the sixth game and then we had a flurry of breaks. And it all comes down to this tiebreak for the first set. Constant pressure from Gonzalez. Playing down to the feet, keeping them at the back to take the first point of this tie break. First to seven. Or to win by two. Uno, González Gutiérrez. Two, one.
3-1, González Gutiérrez. Three, spin on the ball and how it curled back and then off the mesh at the side of the cage. Judged it. I think that's why we've got the smile. It definitely, what he what he, wasn't what he was looking to do. Be aware of, very aware of your surroundings in that situation, or it's going to end up like it did. Players will change ends or after two. every six points that's played in the tiebreak or in a tiebreak. Crowd watching. Some will be nervous because they're favouring one pair over the other or their favourite player is down there on the court and they want them to be through to the final. Others will just be enjoying what they're seeing, which is now in 10 minutes of top class paddle that server side yeah. not megged gonzalez gonzalez gutierrez 4-3 Good. Cinco, tres, Gutierrez. I don't often see Five, a smile from three. Sanio Gutierrez. I think he was happy with that. From behind the back and then the backhand line through the centre on the line. Winner for 5-3. Set points. Seis, tres, Gonzalez Gutierrez. Three set points. Six, three. 12 minutes. Guarda el silencio, por favor. Oh, they got it. The first set point they take it. They were a breakdown. They turned around this set. And after an hour and 12 minutes, they take it, the seventh seed. Momo Gonzalez and Sanyo Gutierrez sit down a set away from tomorrow's final.
ya, ellos tienen que sentir lo mismo, porque nosotros ahora tenemos que aguantar, pero, pero si ganamos un set, ganamos. Ellos tienen que aguantar así, dos. dos. La cabeza de ellos tiene que, hacer, tiene que abandonar el tema. It took nearly an hour and a quarter, but seven seats, got the job done. The stats will show you that there was not a lot to choose between them. Just able to edge their winner count above the unforced error one for the seventh seat. Set away well, the final. They're the first players back in the cage. Jose, the window cleaner, just missed a little section, so he's run back in. He's now out. We're waiting for Navarro, and we play on set two. Always had a feeling this was going to be a lengthy one, and so it's proving to be. Va a dar comienzo el segundo set a servicio Federico Chingoto. It's a very important game for the third seeds to reset themselves, re-establish themselves. Navarro does have occasions when he can disappear from matches. Excellent put away from the Chingotto. complicate the game too much Federico Chingotto as a result he doesn't make a lot of mistakes clean hold to establish themselves in set First two game, They led all the way through the first set, right up until the ninth game. And they were able to get the early break. Al servicio, Daniel Gutiérrez. It was on the Sonia Gutiérrez serve. Well finished off the line winner from Chingotto. It was a good get on the other side of the net from Gutierrez. And the court was open going cross court. Went for the line, found it.
set up by his partner, finished off by Navarro, and it's Love 30. Love 30. Chingotto does rely on his partner to switch to offensive play, which is exactly what Navarro did there. Vale, silencio, por favor. How successful has it been with that shot in this match? That's three from three. Love 40, 0, 40. Quince cuarenta, fifteen forty. Treinta cuarenta, thirty forty. Normally so reliable off the back wall. Navarro, one of his strengths, just a little bit too close to it on that occasion. And too much spin on the ball. Iguales, Dios. Ventaja González Gutiérrez. Love 40 to game point. A little motivational chat there from Chingotto to Navarro. Drew the error. Iguales. Dios. Drawn in by the little touch from Chingotto. Ventaja. Chingotto Navarro. Fourth break point for the third seeds. Looking to break Sanyo Gutierrez serve as they did at the start of the first set. Didn't move. Didn't see it. Iguales. Dios. Can 
sometimes get that breakdown in communication. Neither player moved for it. Fraction too late. The ball was passed and the point was won and the break point had been saved. Gotte is doing a lot yeah, of work here to keep the spirits up of Navarro. 20 seconds between the points. Another opportunity, a fifth one of this second game. No one's that happy or settled right now up there. Can they make a break through the third siege? Runners up in Rome, last time out for Premier Paddle. They got it. There it is. Fifth time of asking. They make the breakthrough. Two love, third seeds lead. Place in tomorrow's final is on the line. I hope you can join us for that final tomorrow. Now it's about backing it up. It's about consolidating the break and putting a little bit of daylight between themselves and their opponents. Incesero. Iguales, 15 all. Exact angle you're looking for, down and off the side of the cage, the mesh, the metal part of the cage, kills the 30, flight 15, of the ball. 30, 15. Oh, it's a delight, absolute delight. 40, 15, 40, 15. Forty thirty. There's a consolidation to give themselves that little bit of daylight they were looking for. And Navarro asking the crowd for a little bit more reaction to that. He gets the reaction he wants and they sit down three love to the good. Si él 
está de sobrepique, pues está jodido. Vos morí adelante. Si hay pausa, me reculo y vuelvo. Concentrate en las posiciones. Y quiero un agua, puede ser. También lo que yo te pido, un poco más de estabilidad. Esto lo mantenemos. Cuando estamos un poquito mal, tenemos igual. Estamos jugando muy bien. Pero en cuanto no salen dos cositas mal, no pasa nada. Vos te desordenás. Calma. Al contrario, cuando más problemas hay, mejor posición tengo que tener. Que ellos no vean tiempo. Vayan tomando asiento, por favor. Por favor, tomen asiento. Jerome Pye's got quite a lot to do. He's got to get the spectators into the seats. He's got to get the players off the benches and back in the cage. Well, <laughs> Just about there. So Navarro has got the crowd doing and going. There's only his Al servicio, Jerónimo González. Uh, Momo González, the 26-year-old world, number 14. Hora de silencio, por favor. Gracias. Gutiérrez. in a little bit of an awkward position Zero, to turn around and Zero, crack 15. that overhead. Zero, 30. Block 30. Just held it a little bit. We saw Chingotto waited, make his move, then struck. Down to the feet of Sanya Gutierrez for triple break point for a double break in the second set. And how impressively have they reset themselves after the disappointment of that hour and 13 first set loss on the tie break. Servicio. Power has very much a place in paddle, as you saw with the finish from Gonzalez. Not enough spin on the ball from the smash from Navarro. Again, this time off the racket is Sanyo Gutierrez. 30, 40, 30, 40. Balls are taking a real pummeling. Changed after first nine games, then 11. Iguales. Dios. Dios. 
Lots of Vamos is needed from Chingotto. Clever. They thought for all the world he was going to crush it. Ventaja Chingoto Navarro. Iguales. Dios. Ventaja Chingoto Navarro. Fifth break point. The double break in the second set. Iguales. Dios. Ventaja Gutiérrez de González. What a good hole that might turn out to be. Could have gone a double breakdown. Had to save five break points. They keep it respectable. They keep it to a break. 3-1 in favor of the third seeds. Third seeds whose set they dropped here was the first set they've dropped all tournament. They hadn't lost more than three games in a set until they came across Gonzalez and Gutierrez. Dallas and Gutierrez, well, they dropped the first set of their round of 16 match against Ruiz and Veloati. And then after taking the first set on a, set on a tight tiebreak against Dineno and Stupichuk, there was the fall for Stupichuk. Quince-cero. in love. Treinta quince. 
40, 15, 40, 15. Oh no! Looking to thump it for a second time. 40, 30. Top edged it. Slammed into the 40, crowd. 30. Silencio, por favor. Gracias. Juego Navarro Chingoto, cuatro juegos a uno, four games to one. But just the one break of serve, they do though have the edge in the second set, but Gonzalez and Gutierrez lead by set to love. <laughs> no, pero Chingo, los dos, los dos, nunca tocan la chiquita y, y camina la chiquita, la chiquita va muy muerta. Sí. Es para que llegues corriendo y te lo encuentres abajo. Si llegamos caminando, lo encontramos mejor. Sí, mejor. Yo la segunda derecha me la encontré fácil, pero se me queda en la red. Sí, yo creo que mejor hasta Se va a tirar esa, haz que va a correr, se para, y ahí la tienes por delante, se te queda por delante. ¿Vale? Muy bien, lo tuvimos. Vamos. Sí, ya estamos otra vez. Está faltando por un poquito más al revés acá otra vez. Acuérdate que no, no estamos. Está. Estoy tirando más al revés. No le estás tirando. Ah, en este centro no le estás tirando. Ahí hicimos mucho, ahí hicimos mucho daño, mucho vale. daño. Ahí está plano de eso, ¿eh? Sí, atrás, atrás. De sí, sí. Está jugando esta. Y chicos, ahí te, te mantiene mejor ahí abajo, ¿vale? Está jugando bien abajo, ¿eh? Pero sí, una sí. cosa. Pero fallos a dónde hecho, ¿no? Por eso, son fallos, son fallos. Vamos a, a intentar. Ahora estamos jugando un poquito no, más suelto. El set va 4-1 abajo. Hay poco que perder porque está 4-1 abajo. Y por ahí mucho que ganar si vos no, eh, que el flaco no vea que vos haces siempre lo mismo. Una fuerte, una rulo, una. Eh, cuando se te viene le tirás, le tiras por el medio. Vale. Variante. Cuando te tiras arriba la volea de derecha, le tiras abierto, reja, tierra, igual que yo. Guante, tierra. Dice que le estás jugando, está jugando chiquita ahí. Dale, ya, pero ¿sabes cómo viene el chiquita, no? Sí, pero porque está muy atrás. No, ¿qué pasa así, boludo? Ah, Caminé en una y tuve que tirar el globo, tuve que tirar de los no, chiquitos que pasó. Si le, este, le quitamos esa al menos, en alguna. Y si yo le tiro. Claro, en alguna. Momo que le iba a empezar a caminar en alguna. En alguna. Y si tira el globo no pasa nada. Si sí, sí, tiramos otro globo y acá. Sí, sí. Vale, vamos a quitarle esa. Vamos a hacer. Vamos a hacer. Eh, eh, no. un break, eh. Parece un montón. Ayer Martín y Franco iban cuatro arriba, parecía un montón. Y ahí tuvimos. Vamos de vuelta. Tiempo. Jugador esa pista. Tomen asiento, por favor. Espere, espere. Tomen asiento, por favor. Gracias. Jueguen. Pero 15. Quince iguales, 15 all. Been so successful with that shot today. First one he's missed. A bit too close to the net. Treinta, quince, thirty, fifteen.
30 iguales. 30 oro. To take the game away from taking us to a deciding set in this semi final, once again putting the pressure on the Gonzalez and the Gutierrez serve. Oh, just left him a little bit too much to do. One for the crowd. Ventaja Navarro Chingoto. Perfection. Every time they leave the cage, you will get that roar. And another opportunity for a 5 1 lead. Can't believe it. Iguales, Dios. Remember, they had five breakpoint opportunities in the last service game on the Gonzalez serve. Now two more have gone begging. It's not the nicest of services to lie down and have a cuddle with. Four. Was trying to touch it, he just couldn't watch this. Just missed it. A lot of that's on instinct. It's about a millimeter away. Juego There's the Navarro break. Chingoto, cinco juegos a uno, Makes it a double break. And now Paquita Navarro will take the balls and look to close out what, in comparison to the first, has been. A pretty speedy set to this point. Aaron 48 on the match clock. And Aaron 13 minutes of those were taken up in the first set. With Navarro that close to the net. 15 0, 15 love. Fault. Trenta cero, thirty love. points 40 0 40 love that's it Set done, set one, third seed's back on track. And it'll be one set to decide tomorrow's finalist. Six one, the third seeds take it.
a chocar alguna, estoy bajando otra, estoy entrando por el paralelo al ángulo, y ahí es donde somos fuertes, ¿no? Donde proponemos, tomamos la iniciativa, no somos la fuerza. Tiempo, tiempo. We're going the distance in the first of the men's semi-finals. And a relatively quick second set, 6-1. The numbers tiempo. will back up what we just saw. Look at the opportunities for the third seeds in the second set. And unfortunately, Gonzalez and Gutierrez were never allowed to settle, being broken from their first service game of the decider. So it comes down to this, one set, two decide, best of three tiebreak set format, who will go into tomorrow's final? Will Chingotto and Navarro have back-to-back -back Premier Paddle finals after reaching the final in Rome, or is their first Premier Paddle final for Gonzalez and Gutierrez? Para el comienzo del tercer set, a servicio con bolas nuevas, Jerónimo González. New balls for Momo Guarda Gonzalez. Silencio, por favor. Gracias. Jueguen. Zero quince, love fifteen. Quince iguales. Now we can hear the voice of Sanjay Gutierrez. He knows how important this first game of this deciding set is. Treinta quince, thirty fifteen. Cuarenta quince, forty fifteen. Cuarenta treinta. Forty thirty. Diego. 
there again this time it's kept in play and what a defensive shot for the inside out forehand winner for Momo Gonzalez it felt very much like right place right time for Gonzalez there first game stood firm wins the point takes the game going first game deciding set and it's set the As expectation it's set the bar it's set the tone for this deciding set So precious now in this deciding set. Nobody wants to give Love other person see. the edge. Flash, por favor. Oh, that's an error. Give you a flash on. Well, I do that a lot. Well, Forget it's on auto. Gracias. Flash goes off. against the back, kept the depth on the volleys. 15 iguales, 15 all. Cleanest of connection from Gonzalez, kept it in play. Good finish from Gutierrez, break points. 15. Fourteen. 
Okay, corner. He knew it, Sanyo. He knew by the flight of the ball. It was heading to the back of the cage. Point break. Two love deciding set. Al servicio, al servicio, Daniel Gutiérrez. Pero 15 love. Oh. Mr. Inta, pero Mr. Thirty love. Gonzalez wants to hear it from the crowd. The frustration building in Navarro. Look at that for a touch. Sweetly done by Sanyo Gutierrez. Quite cheekily done. Three love with the break. Siding set. Three games to love. Time is cool. No one moves. Coach is still talking. Messages being passed on. Big game coming up because it's Paquito Navarro who is serving. He looked to fade a little bit at the back end of that game. Annoyed, frustrated. Things not coming off that normally would. So it's a really important game now. For Piquito Navarro, they're already a break down the third seeds. Two hours, four minutes on the match clock. Some resetting to do for the third seeds. Al servicio, Francisco Navarro. Francisco Navarro, known as Piquito, misses with the first serve, slams away that return ball.
15 a 0 15 love energy's gone from navarra right now he needs to regain it. it's a big part of his character his personality and him as a player moment he's just an annoyed navarro 30 0 30 love Cuarenta cero, forty love. Oh, he went for the drop shot. Cuarenta quince, forty fifteen. There's the hold to 15. Oh, they are on the board in this deciding set. Three games to one. Gonzalez Gutierrez. This is where teamwork comes into it. You see one dipping, you build them up, get them back on track. Good coverage from Chingotto off the return of the backhand. Very short. Fifteen on. Thirty quince. Thirty fifteen. The smile is back on the face of Paquito Navarro. They lock it in at 30 all. Pressure point now. Got to get this back on serve to stand any chance of reaching the final of third seeds.
ho ho! He cannot believe it, he didn't make it over it, thought about it. His break back points. Here we go, thought about it, came back his own side. An opportunity to get this deciding set back on sir. Guarden silencio, por favor. Gracias. Oh, they do! It's netting off the return by Gutierrez. And we are back on serve in the deciding set of this semi final. Three games, two, two. Now things are going to get very interesting indeed. We are back on serve. Still with the edge, Gonzalez and Gutierrez, because they have the scoreboard lead. But now Chingotto, Federico Chingotto, the 26-year-old from Colavaria in Argentina, these days lives in Malaga, with the balls and ready to serve. Good block, the volley from Chingotto. 15 love. Say Wallace, fifteen or
Well, the finger pointing going on now from Navarro, but not accusatory. 30, 15. Telling his partner, we got this. What? Spent seven years with Juan Teo, Federico Chingotto, the longest pairing in paddle in recent times. 40, now they've got 15. And we are locked at three games all deciding, said if needed there would be a tie break to decide who will take their place in tomorrow's final. Every point, every game so precious at this stage of the match. Premier Paddle P1 event in Madrid. And this is such a precious and important tournament for those involved. And the likes of Sonia Gutierrez, born and bred in Argentina, now lives in Madrid. Momo Gonzalez lived here for a number of years. Silencio, por Peter favor. Navarro currently lives here. The only one doesn't or hasn't. Guarda el silencio, por favor. Federico Chingotto, Gracias. he did in the early days, now based in Malaga. Had it covered, Gonzalez. Quince iguales. You got to have on. seen him out of the corner of his eye. Make the move across. This is an opening 30. at 15.30 and three all. Can they push that door wide open and get some break points? If we put them 4-3 up in the decider. Yes, they can. Break points. 15, 40. Four. There we go. 30, 40. 30, 40. Juice. Iguales, juice. Oh, no! 
went for the big finish. Bentaja. Up he Navarro goes. Pilotos. Down it goes. And he's currently still down. That's a lot of discomfort. Whether he's pulled something or it's cramp, it's the left leg. Being eased by his partner. Two hours 23. Ventaja, Chingo Tarabarro. There's another break point opportunity, though, to Chingoto and Navarro. But his cramp is so tough because when it takes hold, it can be hard to shake off. It's unsurprising they're going to test out the Gonzalez legs. Break point for the third seeds. They got it. The backhand into the net from Gutierrez. And the break goes the way of the third seed. The physio will now come on. And take a look. Alessio, the physio, take a look at that left leg of Momo Gonzalez. And he'll lie down on the floor and have a little bit of treatment. Atención médica, three minutos. Confirmation of the three minute medical timeout being taken by Hugo Gonzalez. It looks like he's being treated for the cramp in that leg.
Dos minutos. Just joining us, Momo Gonzalez is having a medical timeout. Dropped to the floor on the court. Looks very much like cramp in the left leg. It's now being treated. Such a tough thing, cramp, because when it does take hold, it's very difficult to shake off. They'll do all they can. But they were broken, Gonzalez and Gutierrez. So Navarro and Chingotto, when we resume, will be serving at 4 3 with the break in the third. It'll be interesting to see the movement of Gonzalez now. You can see him wincing slightly as the bandage was applied. Balls in the hand of Paquito Navarro. Match in the hands of Navarro and Chingotto with the break. Guarden silencio, por favor. Gracias. Gracias. I'm sure they'll be doing their darndest to test out the movement of Gonzalez. Looking to play the Chiquita. She's missing. 15-0, 15 love. Eventually it breaks down from Federico Chingotto. Can be challenged. Remember, they've got the video referee system. They've not had a lot to do. Nothing to do this match. Silencio, por favor.
not leaping as he's quite flat footed now, Gonzalez. No acrobatics from him at the moment. Poor old Chingotto. He's going to have a sore arm tomorrow. Didn't get the lift, couldn't push off. Treinta quince, thirty fifteen. Guarde el silencio, por favor. Gutierrez swapping sides in the process. He's going to have to do a lot of the legwork now, the Argentinian. Ah. Well left, game points. 40-15. Hold to 15, a game away from the final, a game away from back-to-back -back finals. A su favor, five game to three. The feel for Gonzalez round about now. The body is not playing ball, the body is letting him down. It will be his turn to serve, and they'll be serving to stay in this semi final. Guarda el silencio, gracias. Living Gutierrez has too much work to do because he's got to cover the centre line to help his partner, but then that exposes him on his backhand side in that case. Tough to see, Gonzalez had such a good tournament, really struggling now. And the third seed's two points from the final. Much too good. Pays off in the end. Poor Gonzalez right now, just being clobbered by the ball and after two hours and 37 minutes, match points to the third seed. Poor old Gonzalez. Left leg strapped, hasn't got the movement. This is too much court for Gutierrez to cover. Match points. Let. Guarda el silencio, por favor. Very excited young fan of Akito Navarro. Primer servicio. But it might not have to wait too much longer to celebrate. He's gone for the big finish and he's got it! There's the celebration we've come to know and love. Back to back Premier Panel Finals for the third seed. Really good tournament for Sanio Gutierrez and Momo Gonzalez. Such disappointment for Gonzalez and his leg and his body giving way. 
but another good win and another final for Paquita Navarro and Federico Chingotto. What a pair they are becoming. Real affection. A good round of applause for Gonzalez and Gutierrez. But the pair that started together in April of this year, boy, they're doing well. They complement each other. They work well together. And after reaching the final in Rome, they are in the final here in Madrid. Consecutive Madrid finals for Paquito Navarro. But last year, he would lose out with Martin Deneno by his side. This time round, he goes in alongside Federico Chingotto. He was ready for it, Chingotto. Finished it off in style. And that was match one. We're going to hear from them very shortly, speaking to Barbara Vita Antonio. Barbara is waiting in the center. And after this, don't go far because we will have the second of the ladies semi finals who will be facing the top seeds in tomorrow's women's final. But confirmation it will be the third seeds Chingotto and Navarro through 6 3 in the third against the seventh seeds Gonzalez and Gutierrez. A look at the numbers, it was just disappointing in that third set that the left leg of Gonzalez gave way. He didn't have the movement that he so heavily relies on. So it's a win for Navarro and Chingotto. Here they are speaking in the middle of center court with Barbara Vitantonio. Hola Madrid, buenas tardes. Hello Madrid, good afternoon again and congratulations for the four players because that was an amazing game, that was a battle. We could see everything and of course before due to the interview of Paquito and Chingoto, we want to say Momo, we hope it's not going to be a big injury and we hope you're going to recover as soon as possible. After that, we're going to try to understand, especially to know the first words from Paquito. After so emotion, so good points, so many highs and lows, and those different parts of the game, and you finally could be able to pass through all the game. How is feeling to come to a new final of Premier Padel? Good afternoon, Madrid. What a pleasure to play in this stage. First of all, I want to congratulate to Momo and Sanjo because it was a really hard play. We came to a game that we know it would be so hard because we are also good and we finally have it after the third time and we hope, I hope that at the third final we're going to finally got it. Thank you so much. Ayer en unas declaraciones, Fede, Paquito decía, bueno, tengan un chingo bueno, en su vida porque te Fede, todo. Yesterday, Paquito said, put a este uh, chingo in your Paco, life because he can resolve everything. Can you explain us how was, que, how was bueno, that third set that, that we, de, de you Momo, be able to come from the very low part of the game juego. until the win? And also welcome you bueno, to a new final Madrid. of eh. Premier Padel. Good afternoon, Madrid. Primero, como dijo Paco, déjame felicitar a Momo y Sancho que As Paco said, I want first to congratulate to my partners because they were that was an amazing game. They, it was so hard for all of us. They play until the very end. And to Momo, especially being able to stand at the until the very end with this injury in the leg, so we want to thank them and also to thank our coach that he is able to calm us when we are losing the nerves and also. Uh, to congratulate the, the public, the stage, because being in a scene like this, like Madrid, is amazing. And we are waiting for everybody tomorrow, and we hope it's going to be an amazing final. Congratulations, 
Congratulations, the third final together, a second in Premier Paddle. And please don't go anywhere because we have another cracking semi-final on its way. In terms of the road to the final here, we will find out who they'll face a little bit later, but Chingotto and Navarro back-to-back -back finals. Will it be a repeat of the Rome final? Or will Sanchez and Capri shake it up? We'll find out about that later. Stay with us to find out the completion of the women's final. That's up next here in the Premier Paddle P1 event in Madrid.
vídeo para la última semifinal femenina y DJ Don Cornelius que nos sigue metiendo el ambientazo en este Madrid Arena. Welcome back to Madrid, our home this week, the Madrid Arena in the heart of the capital of Spain for the Premier Paddle P1 event and it's the semi-final stage, it's the business end of the competition to so stay with us as the action is hotting up here in Madrid. The music is blasting around the Madrid arena and we have a road to the final to complete the top seed. Sanchez and Jose Maria booked their place in straight sets earlier today. We now await to see if we'll have a repeat of the Rome final with Trier and Ortega or if Bria and Gonzalez can upset the apple cart and book their place in the showpiece event here in Madrid. And this is what we have for you, Delfina Bria and Bia Gonzalez, the third seed, taking on Gemma Trier and Marta Ortega, the second seed. And these are players who have played together, have relationships with each other. It is an all Spanish on one side, Argentina and Spain on the other side. And the doors will open for the Rome semi-finalists. Delfina Bria. Bia Gonzalez did not come out, interestingly. Following the pitches of Bria and Gonzalez, we saw Trier and Ortega. Well, Arvin Palmer alongside myself, Gigi Sam, they were just trying to fool the crowd. <laughs> yeah, maybe, possibly so, but uh, you're gonna expect them to get a lot of support this afternoon, they are hugely popular in these parts. Of course, Ortega from Madrid, born and raised in Madrid. Studied in Madrid as well. Been well supported all week. Yeah, if anyone needs a doctor, Marta Ortega is your lady. Graduated with a degree in medicine, University of Madrid, and formerly played with Bia Gonzalez, and that was quite recently. So they've now got to flip the pitches. They were the winners in Rome. We await the semi-finalists. So you have to clap or they're not coming out. They are here. Now we will get Bia Gonzalez and Delfina Bria come through the open doors. Big smiles on their faces. Despite the fact that Delfina Bria is from Argentina, born in Buenos Aires, she now lives in Madrid, a majority of the players of are based here in Madrid. This is a very special tournament for them. Yeah, absolutely. 
A lot of the best players will come to Madrid, a very famous academy, not too far away, the M3 Academy, just down the road. The best players, the best coaching, the best facility. And if you're serious about your paddle, this is where you come. You come to Spain, somewhere in Spain anyway. <laughs> Get yourself into the country. <laughs> You see so many stories of the dream was to become a professional paddle player, so they had to make the move to Spain. They had to be in amongst the very best to try and be the best. Yeah, you want to train with the best and uh, test yourself against the very best. So your sparring partners, your practice matches, if you can play against the best, you're going to improve the quickest. That's only logic. It certainly is. And we've got four of the best here, and it was actually the partner of Gemma Trier, Alejandra Salazar, the injury and the operation for her that led to this shuffle round in players why Bia Gonzalez and Marta Ortega are no longer a pair. Ortega, they sat down on the chair with Bia saying, I need to find the joy back. It wasn't right. And it's a real merry-go-round. When one of the dominoes falls within the top 10, you suddenly see a lot of changes. Yeah, there's opportunities for some of the players actually to team up with players that they fancy a bit of, a bit of just kind of, OK, my game suits up well to their game. They're playing on the side that I, I don't want to play on, so that, that, can, that can help as well. And I think the interesting thing for Trier now is, like, when Salazar is back healthy, what does she do? Ooh. I mean, it was an epic... Uh, win last week for them in Rome. So picking up their first Premier Paddle uh, Premier Paddle Tour event there, major. And now in the semis this week, a chance to get to the final. Might be a difficult decision. And that was their first tournament together. Yeah. Let's talk about hitting the ground running. Very good. Right, the housekeeping bits and pieces. Number of balls, ball change, video changes, points they have, time they have. All starting with the photo. Former partners, current partners all together, all smiles. They know how it works by now. It's just really a reminder of the challenges they have, they can use. And no one ever wants to do the coin toss. We notice that. I think it's a superstition sort of thing, isn't it? When you just defer and say, you choose. They're so focused on the match, they don't want to make a decision. <laughs> just get told what's going to happen. There's enough decisions to be made. Oh, there are. You could do without the other one. <laughs> Another one. So we get the close-up of getting into the chair, which I think they're doing spectacularly well. <laughs> but look at the, the camera right on yeah, them, and they've yes. got to do it quite gracefully. It's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure. <laughs> Let's Mr. Step and it's, uh, all, it's curtains. Let's go through the players. Delphi Bria, she is 23 years of age from Argentina, born in Buenos Aires, lives in Madrid. Very calm player. She has a big, brutal forehand, steps up the point. She needs a partner to finish them off while she does the defence. And that partner is Bia Gonzalez. 21 years of age, from Spain, born in Malaga, now lives in Madrid. She's decisive, she's aggressive, she is the one to close out the points. Age 14, she was the youngest player to play in a main draw event. A big character on the court. That personality really comes across. And they haven't been together for that long, but it seems to be working. Yeah, they've got a good chemistry together, actually. They. They do fit well, I think, with Gonzalez. She's more of the character on the court. She's a bit more expression on her face and the highs and lows, as you see on paddle players' face, their body language. But uh, with Bria, she's a lot calmer, isn't she? Certainly is. Gemma Tria is another one who brings her character, her happiness, her joy to the court. 31 years of age from Spain, finished year end number one for the last three years. We've talked about her partner, Alejandra Salazar. We wish her a speedy recovery. Well, maybe. Marta Ortega doesn't, I'm sure she does. 26 years of age and she has benefited from needing a partner in Gemma Trier. She plays drive, she plays on the right hand side. And we've talked about the degree she has in medicine. Age 16, she made her debut on the court. She was the youngest and remains the youngest to have been number one at 22 years of age back in 2019. And imagine the juggle of being a full-time athlete and graduating with a degree in medicine. Yeah, it's unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, that's a, a serious education she's got, and that's probably taken hours uh, per day for a very long time to finally graduate, a magic moment for her, and now she can really give it her absolute everything on the professional tour and 
I guess, you, I, I guess when you, you, you get your degree in anything, you really do appreciate once that's over and then you can really 100% fully focus on, on the sport that you choose to play. It must be a nice three feeling. Minutes, tres minutos, three, minutes. three minutes left in the cage of the warm-up. Then they'll have a couple just to do the final bits and pieces on the sidelines. And we should say there might be people new to paddle that coaching plays an important part because apart from the end of the first game that's not an official change they are allowed to have constant dialogue if they have a coach with them yeah absolutely yeah if they're uh, fortunate to have a coach traveling most weeks with them they can be on the court and it gets pretty vocal at the change of ends actually players coaches especially constantly scribbling things down as they're playing and then uh, given those sort of instructions at the change of ends and you yeah, haven't got a, a whole lot of time to try and digest that sort of information. So I, I would imagine the coaches are trying to keep it straightforward, simple, digestible, easy to understand, and then you can hopefully try and implement that in the next in the, in the, in the game coming. A number of the players have said that when it comes to Premier Paddle, the second year of Premier Paddle, there's eight events on the calendar for majors for P1 events that the prize money on offer, yes, the points Dos with minutos, the ranking, but the prize minutes. money is allowing some players to now travel with a coach to events where previously they couldn't afford to. Yeah, I, I think it's a, it's a game changer for the players. Now, given the opportunity with the eight tournaments this year, I think more of sí, fingers sí, crossed sí, coming sí, next sí, year sí, in the coming sí, years sí, for them. But, you know, they, they rely heavily on sponsorship, clothing, rackets is a, is a, is a big part of it as well. Using rackets and being paid to use those rackets as well. So wherever they can pay those, pay for those expenses, they go a long way. It's much appreciated. And hopefully at the end of the year, they can make some money as well. Because at the end of the day, you do want to make a living out of this sport. And that's why we see so many changes in couples, because it is a business. And if you think it's not working out and you're not winning the titles and you're not getting the money and the points, etc., etc., you are going to make a change. Yeah, that's, that's what's so difficult in sport in general, actually, because it, when it comes to the pointy end of, of sport, top class sport, it's so much results driven. And you just don't have the time to develop those relationships sometimes because you're losing money from week to week. I mean, you you would love to stick it out with 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 a, a partner a little bit longer, but you know, I haven't got the time. I need to start winning. I need to get my ranking up there. I need to be able to be involved in the best tournaments in the world. Hello to Giuseppe Iacobucci. He's in the chair. He got in it very gracefully, followed by the camera. And moving from the chair, the video review room is Federico Samper. They have the two challenges per pair, per set. Now this is new to the paddle tour and it's making a difference because normally everyone figures it out on court and everyone's happy, but if they cannot, they will come up to the video review room and their decision is final. Well, I've seen a couple of times this week actually that it go both ways where the players have actually, the umpires actually got the call right. And a few times when the players have wanted to challenge, it's been overruled up here as well, so by by the uh, review team. So it's it's working well. It, it's pretty quick as also, so not too much of a delay to the play. And I just think it, it gives gives the the players that informed decision at the end of the day that someone is looking over that call and they can confirm, and then you can just move on a bit quicker as a player, and you're not dwelling on maybe a call that you feel that's gone against you. And in terms of the sport, we talk about it and we relate it and we compare it to tennis in a squash court. There's so many similarities when it comes to the warm-up. The big change is they're not practicing the serve, so the way to loosen up the arm is with the overhead. Yeah, and they're banging them down at the minute. All four of these players, they will bring the power. Gonzalez, finisher. We've got Trier as well playing on the left. She finishes well. Big power from those two women especially. I love the way Ortega plays. She's got a lot of touch around the net. Extremely hard worker. She covers the court very well. So you can see why Trier and Ortega have had so much success already. I'm sure if they stick together, they are going to have plenty more. Time has been called. They've now got a couple of minutes to just have some final words with their respective coaches. It's a wonderful crowd. It has been a wonderful crowd in here all week. When you think about the temperature, when we arrived at the start of the week, we were looking at, what, 38 degrees outside? Yeah, we're touching 40, actually, uh, the, the day we did arrive. Ouch. But things have cooled down the last few days. We're sort of talking low 30s, mid 30s now. So 
even a, a five degree drop off makes a big big difference and but conditions court side and on that court it's still pretty warm you, you've got to make sure that you're well hydrated and you've got your preparation spot on Delphi Bria, Bia Gonzalez, the third seed, semi-finalists in Rome, taking on Gemma Tria and Marta Ortega, winners in Rome, and the second seeds for the right to face Sanchez and Jose Munir in tomorrow's final that we will also have live for you. We should also say this is just the second event that women have been involved in in Premier Paddle. Yes, they won't be going to Mendoza, I believe, but they will be back for Paris, which is fantastic. So I think just a, a couple of events this year that they won't be together. I think the other one is the New Giza event in Egypt, but we'll see next year more combined events, which is a win-win for everyone. We had a lot of rain in New Giza last year, didn't we? Biblical rain. Well, didn't they say they hadn't had that much rain in about 30-odd years? Yeah, four. I think, I think <laughs> I had one person say, yeah, 50 years. They, they were running around in it, couldn't believe it. We were oh, dear. trying to stay dry. We see it every day. <laughs> <laughs> but we're indoors, so conditions, as I've said, it, it's slightly warm down there courtside, but we're not going to get the wind, not going to get the distraction. A cuddle from Jorge Martinez, who's a colleague of ours in the Spanish commentary team, but working also full-time with Breer and Gonzalez. Yeah, juggling his his day, but he is... Uh, he means business. He's, the, he's a member of the M3 Academy in Madrid. He just takes his, his spot to the side of their chair. Bit of aha to get the crowd going, to get D the players going. DJ has been Good. on their game. Yeah, has. But now reluctantly he's having to pull the fader down because we are all set for the second semi-final. Lovely to have your company. Bria and Gonzalez won the toss elected to receive. It'll be Gemma Trier. Gemma Trier. Have 20 seconds between the points. Normally Ready. don't need that much. Play. Should Inter say it is best it's in three tie-break sets. Power's not always your friend in paddle, but it definitely has a Using it at just the right time, that's that's the key. You become too predictable with the smash. That net player will get to it and they'll touch it. Just overdoing it a bit on that Vibra. Trying 15, to yeah. keep it tight to that side in that corner. Four players that know each other very, very well. There's no secrets out here on this court. They know their strengths, they know their weaknesses. Exploited the gap. With power and kept it nice and low too. That's the idea. Keep it low of that net. Get your opponents. They do get to it. Volleying up. Early the trio served with the first break point of the semi-final. 30, 40. World number three, Gemma Trio, 31 years of age now. Oh, <laughs> gave it a best Be shot. Balanced. Use. The long levers and the easy power that she has. Trier, pretty deep when she took that smash on as well. 
Well, that's some, some good hang time. I know she didn't get there, but she was up there forever. Bentaka, also, mustn't touch the net and the follow through or you avoid the point. So a lot to think about when you're either leaving the cage or, or leaping up around the net. She should put her arms aloft. Well, that's just great People reactions guess. and athleticism again just to get up to that one. That time she, she did touch it, but backing off the volley. And I mean, she couldn't have placed that volley any better. Putting on the brakes there. Look out how she was fighting to get back to the volley. And she did. Ortega the first game. Four minutes on Primer the match juego. clock. Okay. A break point saved. And that will just settle a couple of nerves from the serving pair to get that first hold of serve under their belt. And on paper, there's not a whole lot between them at the minute. Partnership of Tre and Ortega playing so well. It being a, a semi-final, so a lot on the line. It brings the best out of players, generally. Gonzalez and Bria looking intense and they've sort of played well this week, too. Al servicio del fin brea. Yeah, neither pair has dropped a set to this point. Neither pair has lost more than three games in a set to this point. Fin set zero. Fifteen love. Gonzalez and Bria have really hyped up for this and the character of Gonzalez already coming across loud and clear. Showing they've also got the power to finish. Just love the technique on the smash. The arch of the back, the turning of the shoulders. She's using her entire body to smash that. 40-15. Game points. 40-15. Third of the four semi-finals that we have for you today. Tempo. Time called after the 20 seconds used. Cut it deep, Gonzalez. cut it into the corner, and a hold Juegue to Gonzalez. 15. So all. both pairs settled, both pairs on the board. Must be a nice feeling. Some nervy moments all early on. Al servicio, Marta you establish Ortega. yourself in the match. Oh, great recovery. 
It was an awkward, awkward rebound off the Rolling back there. She did, did well out the corner. And the volley was just perfectly weighted there, just dying before the back wall. Did touch it, but a rebound off it. Oh, what a touch. Got it out the door. Lovely angle. Inse Iguales. Oh, some dexterity with the wrist. 15 on Laced it there. The ball must not come above waist height off the serve. Or it's a foul serve. And into the net, it is a foul serve. Very rare to see a double fault in paddle. It's really just to get the point underway. You're not looking to win the point off it. Just looking to get yourself up to the net. Didn't give it enough. Trying to find a cute is. angle there. 30 all there. In points. 40, 30. Nine minutes on the clock. Bot. Missing a few first serves here. Good vision. Yes. Both players here at the back. That's where the space was. Just using the spin to take that ball away. Get it to land short. A more silent partnership. Trier and Ortega. <laughs> at the body. Couldn't get out of the way of it. Ortega, <laughs> Trier. Gonzalo said she needed to regain her love for the sport and her love for being out on court. She didn't feel that with Ortega. We're on serve. We the played 11 minutes, semi-final, and it's 2-1 one. One in favour of Trier and Ortega. Gracias. 
Lefi también te conoce, vos te pones ahí a poner la plata. Lo que pasa es que estoy adelantada, estoy en una situación que de repente ahora salgo con un paralelo, que no me lo espero, me voy para atrás y estoy ya también en la vida. Si quedas en el punto, que la pelota no sea cruzada para ver a qué manera. Y si no te ves, vos te pones de nuevo. Vale. El Lefi está ahí esperando que vos pones la derecha para entrar con la gente que entró dos veces. Que la reforma que tenga, que tenga dudas, tocarla y se lo he dicho antes a los por dudar. Porque pasaron, ahora el principio pasaron y dieron por aquí. Players make their way back into the cage. It is 10 minutes past six in the evening local time. It's lovely to have your company. It is Premier Paddle Week in Madrid, a new venue to Al last year. Brea Gonzalez. Madrid Arena, our home for these seven days. And it is Bea Gonzalez. First look at her serve. Oh, 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 she just can't get it back on the other side. That's a very impressive topspin smash. Look at the way it just climbed off that back wall. Andrea doing well just to put the brakes on before those hoardings outside the court. Placement. Just left Ortega with too Three much to zero. do. Tortilla. Yeah, there's a lot that's got to come together when you leave the cage because you're focused on the ball. You have to largely swivel, figure out where it's going to go. A lot has to come together. You haven't played the shot yet either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it cannot bounce more than once. So there's a lot to do in a short space of time. Clever, just hit flat to Bria, that overcooked it. Good call from Trier there as well, almost to say watch it. She left it and it was the right decision. Are they asking the question there? I mean, they do have the video reviews in the, in the team along from us, if should they wish to use them. Yeah, you could see clearly there into the wall first before it bounced. We just wanted confirmation from the chair. A little. That's for service. Opportunity now. They're on the board. Second seeds in this game. Oh, a bit too much time with that smash. Yes, and I think she felt, felt the pressure of Ortega just charging forward there. She sensed it. Oh, oh yes. she didn't. That <laughs> is what she's so good at. We saw that yesterday, that return up the line. Very, very clever. She's ma managed to keep that so close to that fencing there. You've got nowhere to go. That is a threading the needle. Break point. Ot. First break point opportunity for Trier and Ortega and a second serve to look at. Gonzalez Brea requests the video review. Oh, now they are going to the video review for the Ford. first serve. Do you get a feel for that? No, oh, it, it was very close, but I was. I thought it was out. Okay. The players don't get the benefit of the the replay. They don't get to see it. We 
do. Oh, tough from that angle. Hopefully the uh, the review team have got a better <laughs> angle to look at. <laughs> if they don't, this could be a long wait. Yeah, they've got a few cameras dotted around. Yeah, I can see them scrolling back and forth on their screens. They're, they're going to get it sorted. It is pretty quick. I know we've got a couple of whistles, but come on, crowd. <laughs> two per pair per set. And you don't keep it if you get it right. It's just two per set. Not in tennis with a You get your challenge right. You Ladies and gentlemen, according to the video review, the set was in first service. Ooh. Good shout, that was. They had a gut feeling on it, didn't they? Mm. Break point down. Oh. Gonna oh. crunch that ball all day long. Iguales. Ortega wasn't going to move out the way there. Yes. Happy to stand right in front of there, but. Gonzalez not put off. Ventaja, Brea Gonzalez. Break point down to game point. Ooh. Iguales, juice. Return. Very well to keep it low and get Gonzalez vo volleying up there. Oh, she's about to serve. Players aren't ready. Now they are. Good depth. Ventaja, Brea, Gonzalez. Holding back here, probably a bit closer than she anticipated, but it was a, a good smash. Through the middle, trying to split the pair, drew the error, and they save a break point in the process of that game, and we level up after 20 minutes of two games all. It's a popular choice, I think a good choice. If there's any sort of doubt, go through the middle. Can cause that confusion. Is it yours? Is it mine? Oof. There's the apology, the sort of sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Probably the most insincere apology in sport. <laughs> uh, the net call just it just killed it, and that's why I didn't rebound too far. That. Trio was part of the tennis world until 2010, age 19. She left it, switched to paddle, and she was international level three years later. She said her competitive spirit and drive turned her towards paddle when she left tennis.
Oh. Sure Different sound to it, wasn't it? But the direction was, was spot 30. on into that fencing, and there's that unpredictable bounce off it. So difficult to defend against it. We're noticing this morning, both having the same strapping on the right elbow. These two get a closer look at that. Oof. Tag the opponent, win Clinton the point. I almost think she tried to kick that back. She knew she wasn't going to get there, so stuck out her foot. It's the easiest way to win the point. Although it might rile your opponent in the process. Love 30, 30 all. Break point. 30-40. She saved a break point on her serve in the opening game, Trier. Tiempo. Oh, she had forgot to do a little fist bump with Ortega, so she had to go and do that. Athletes are superstitious creatures. They've got it. They've made the breakthrough. 24 minutes on the clock. And it's first blood to Gonzalez and Bria, who break the serve of Gemma Trier. And they lead by three games to two. Silencio, por favor. Gracias. An important thing now, though, for Bria and Gonzalez is to try and consolidate this first set break. Make the advantage count, and they take the first point of game six. First played together back in 2019, Bria and Gonzalez. Drop shot working a treat. Then they went their separate ways. And then after Gonzalez split with Ortega, she called Bria and she proposed a long term partnership, a long term project. Hey. 
Palenta Zero. Good call. Forty left. Well, that's exactly what you're looking for after a break of serve. Consolidate with a, a quick hold. Haven't had too many of those in this match so far. And there is a quick hold. There is the first love hold of this semi-final, and it's 4-2 to the third seed. Oh, she got away with this one. Four games to Gonzalez didn't quite give the backhand enough, but that's definitely a ball that Ortega should have made. Just seeing a couple of errors from Trier and Ortega. Fine, fine margins. Ortega now with the serve. Lucky she got out the Quince way. Fifteen love. Coming at such a pace. This is now the most games that Trier and Ortega have conceded in a set in this tournament. Obviously, the competition, the standard does increase for this. The most was just two games. Trenta zero. Thirty love. Place, right time, good block. Quick thinking. That was from Gonzalez. Just between the two. And it's beautifully weighted again. No chance of getting any sort of rebound off that volley. Tempo. Another mistake from Ortega. 30 all. Just pushing it too far. It's an important point now. 30 all, 2 4 down. The side wall before 30 court 40. surface. Point for a double break and to serve for the first set. You almost for feel as if they're being forced to go closer and closer, take on more risk because they're under pressure. Talk about that for reactions. Point game, double break, 5-2. That's off the charts good. Good get there from Gonzalez, but even better from Bria. She goes sprinting off. You can understand why. That was a worldie.
Serving to take the first set, Beatriz Gonzalez. Zero, well, it's just been a few points here and there, you feel. They've, they've just lost a couple of tough ones, a couple of errors that have come at the, the wrong time. I think being 5-2 down, break, two breaks down, I think that's a little harsh, isn't it? Been on fire. She really has. 15 on there. Hasn't missed the ball. That right in the corner. The rebound was so difficult to, to judge. I'll take a just cramp playing the forehand. Targeting a little more, I'll take it now. Oh, 30, what a serve that was. That was 30 for team. Skidding through, pace to it. This is perfection from Breer and Gonzalez right now. And with 36 minutes on the clock, they've got set points. Mining these powerful angles, both of them. As a single set of paddle goes, I'm not sure they played many better than yeah. this. Oof. Well, that's the first glaring mistake she's made. 40, 30. Couldn't keep the ball down. <laughs> Lovely dipping ball to Iguales. the feet of Bria. Juice. Number three. Working that corner so well, and that's that's causing Ortega havoc here. On the turn to try and coordinate all of that, it's not easy.
Lovely change up, went for touch, drew the error, and at the third time of asking, the third seed do close out the first set. They are now a set away from the final, 38 minutes on the clock. It's a 6-2 set for Delfina Bria and Bia Gonzalez. Here's some of the numbers for you and Trey and Ortega couldn't Second set, capitalize on any of the opportunities they did have and just use unforced errors crept up Silencio, towards the back end of that first set. Need to get off to a good start. Gemma Trier, as she did in the first set, starts things off in set two. playing so well right now, Bria and Gonzalez. Playing well at the same time. Love it in. Look at that little bit of showboating. Well, it's not even showboating. That was a legitimate shot behind the back just to keep the, the rally alive. And topspin top spin smash in the end was very impressive. Tempo. She's seen the ball early and big right now. Bria. Very, very important game, it goes without saying, for Trio and Ortega to settle themselves back in. No. Not even the net is working for them now. Yeah, and just try to get out that point too early, you felt, from Trier, trying to end it with the Love smash. And just didn't feel like that was a shot to go for, then left exposed. Delfina Bria is the world number eight, Gonzalez the world number six, taking on the respective world number three and six in Trier and Ortega, and the winners in Rome. Ari Sanchez and Paule Jose Maria, the top seed world number one pair await the winners in tomorrow's final. Love 30. Getting out that ball very well, getting out the way of it. This was the moment through the legs and the Lock control and keeping it as low as she did. Very impressive. Good control over the ball. No wonder Gonzalez calls her the iceberg. She's as cool as a cucumber. <laughs> <out there. laughs> she is. Just frustrating Ortega. 
ball just keeps coming back. Break points. Odd. It's a break to love from the third team against the second. And they continue on from where they left off in the first set. Got the momentum here. They've just got to keep riding it as long as they possibly can. It's late to get up out towards that one, Trier. Another error. Thank you very much. Gonzalez. He's thinking there. As you say, Gonzalez and Bria playing at their very best at the same time. It'll be Bria to kick off the serving for the Pert. Second set. New balls. Por favor. She's getting some cheap points off the serve. That's a bonus because you don't accept those. You don't uh, expect those. Excuse me. Second, she's had. Quince iguales. Fifteen all. It's an impressive acceleration on that smash. 30-15 now. Arm was just a blur. See how she gets all that power. Halt. Putting the needle, finding the gap. They are playing at such a high level right now. They are executing superbly well. Yeah, it's a special, special stuff from the third seed, semi finalists in Rome. Consolidation Maria complete. Gonzalez they lost to Jose Maria and left. Sanchez in the semi finals in Rome. Did Bria and Gonzalez might have a little chance of revenge? They make it through to the final. And that was a comfortable 6 3 6 2 win for the top seeds. A lot of frustration out there for Ortega right now. She just cannot get herself going. I think a lot of these mistakes, GG, are because favor, of gracias. the pressure she's feeling. Chasing in the scores, never easy. That's another one. Zero quince. Lo fetina. I think the, the fans are trying to get behind her. She's from Madrid. Plenty of friends and family here today watching her. Got to put that in the mix as well. And it's the job of Gemma Trier, her partner. Speak positively, tell her to keep going, help her when she's down. Yes, yes. That's why the partnership is so important. You need to be able to rely on each other. Well, I think you, you've just got to keep asking her the question. Your opponent's coughing up so many errors. Got to keep testing her. I mean, she was here comfortably. Trying to be too cute. What? 
It's a good catching by the ball girl. I'm witnessing at the side of the court. Oof. Wow. 15-30. I mean, she hit the back 15, of the court, 30. but if Ortega hadn't ducked, she would have got clobbered. Mm -hmm. It was coming down from quite a height, so they're difficult to time. Using their 20 seconds. Tiempo. Another chat from Trier, who brings such positive energy to the court, Gemma Trier. Better. Not trying, trying to go for too much, just yeah. keeping it in play. That was good. Good good choice of shot at the middle of the court there. Probably be too fancy, you end up missing it. Quarenta, trenta. 40-30. It'll be a big roar from the crowd if they win this point. Ortega and Trier get on the board in the second set. I love 30 down in this game. Oh, she's got it. That would have felt good for Marta Ortega. Hasn't had a lot to smile about, but it was a long point. It was a tough point. It was a well-won point. But it is 2-1 the third seed leads with the break in the second set.
semi-finals day at the Madrid Arena. All the fans in, enjoying it. A bit cooler the conditions inside and outside. I think they're rising again, the temperatures next week, but for this weekend, they are bearable. Freer and Gonzalez with the set and with the break. Love it in there. Important game you feel coming up here. Hot. Inter iguales. It's in order. Tria likes to have a chat, mm. doesn't she? Just about as <laughs> Ross Alves was ready to serve there as well. <laughs> Pull out of the motion. Shot placement in three. Nice combination of shots there. 15, the one up the line there for from Ortega was good. Gonzalez really defending at that moment. 15-30, a little opening as Trier continues to chat. Important moment now. And that was set up from the serve. It was low, it was into the corner, put them on the back foot. That was quality. And the smash was only going to go one place. And that was over the back of the court here. Four metres high, that, up there. No problems getting that down and over. Quarenta, <laughs> trenta. 3-0. That, you feel, was an important Brea hole Gonzalez for Bria and Gonzalez. Three games, 2-1. Keep the advantage in the second set. I'll take her again, just trying to fight to find a game. I wouldn't say they're unforced errors, but it's just lots of errors. This was difficult by the time she got to it. It was low, couldn't get it up. Gemma Tria, whose serve was broken to love in the first game of the second set. So aggressive there on the turn. Love it. The middle again. Really attacking this Trier serve. Still smiling. That sort of sums up Ortega's day, really. And it's a reaction from the crowd as well that just makes it even worse. Like a groan. Can't believe that she's missed that. 
Okay, she got the exact ball she wanted off the return of serve. Caught. You just have to admire what you're seeing from Breer and Gonzalez right now. It is simply too good. Well, some of the best play we have seen all week. One of the points of the tournament. That is fantastic. The patience. And Gonzalez and Breer there were outstanding, just working so well together. About as much emotion as, as you get from Breer as well. You know, she's pumped. Especially when you get the double fist pump. Yeah. What did you call it? The lawn mower. The lawn mower. Yeah. They have a second opportunity to break the trio serve to love in this second set. Did it in the first game. Oh. I don't blame her for, 15, for going for that. Everything they've tried has pretty much pulled off. Come off, should I say. I mean, the chat just has to be between them. Just keep doing what you're doing. A little bit more in depth between Trier and Ortega, the second seeds and Rome winners. Plus F. Really good serve. I'm in there. She got it, and she got it back in. It all came together for Trier. And from Love 40, it's Juice. Well, it's great to see them just trying to hang in. This was anticipated well, and look at that. No chance, it landed into the net there. What an angle she found here. Because oh. Gonzalez was going for the big finish to get the double break. But. Ortega Trier handling that volley well and she put pressure on because she was looking to move across as well. From love 40 to game points to keep it to just the one break of serve in this second set. Well, I think that was long. Are they asking, are they asking for a review? No, I don't think. no, there we go. They're accepting it from Love 40. They hold. That's an important Brian hole Gonzalez for Trier. It was an essential hole for Trier and Ortega. But still, Bria and Gonzalez with the break in the second set, leading by set time. Mm -hmm. 
es ahora para pegarte, dale. Si sí es tu tiro. ¿No? Morimos con esa. Porque el, el, el armado da mucho rebote. Y esta es lo que tienen es que comes. Vale, vale. ¿Vale? Lo mejor que tomen para adelante, vamos a ganar la siguiente. Vale, vale. Muy bien, seguimos, ¿eh? Seguimos trabajando. Confianza, ese. ¿eh? Nuestro saque. Vamos, vamos, va. Saco, va. ¿Eh? Y cuando el punto tenemos ventaja, podemos intervenir todo lo que podamos. Delphi Bria. Let's for service. Love. Spin working its magic off the smash. So much top spin on it. Rushing up and across the ball. Oh no! The cage has a mind of its own. You can be in the position where you think the ball's going to be. The cage takes over. Thirteen love. I'll take it just that little bit too far away. Mm. This is a very good start to the game, considering they missed out on three break points in the previous game. Put that behind them. Oh. Ooh. Hoo -hoo. Thirteen, thirteen, fifteen. Now. Just haven't seen enough of that from Ortega. Good return. Trier doing the rest. getting faster and faster, oh, harder and harder, and it paid off in its game points. On attack, they have oh, been see, superb today. And that was all out attack. Off the foot, so point was done. Game points for 4-2. An hour and seven minutes on the match clock. Five past seven in the evening local time here in Madrid. Still one semi-final to come for you, involving the Rome champions, Arturo Cuello and Augustin Tapia taking on Maxi Sanchez and Lucho Capra. Oh, <laughs> shaped up for power, went for touch, back behind Ortega. 
He's not enjoying himself this to evening. To and they keep hold of their advantage with a 4-2 lead. Didn't see that coming, Ortega. Again, attack, attack, attack. Sega back there just doing laps. I don't know where that ball was going. They've got the ball on a piece of string right now. Cutting volley that. Brilliantly weighted again. You're asking each other the question at one of the changes, can they keep up this level? And to this stage, the answer is yes. Well, they'll try anything at the minute, won't they? They'll t happily take the warning, I think. Yeah, they have Before. taken a fair amount of time, haven't they? 20 seconds allowed, they're regularly over it. Hmm. Too many options there, maybe. Thinking too much about that shot. Surprising, halfway up the net. He shows the confidence, really was going for the low percentage shot there. Not much of a gap. I continue to pepper Ortega. And they continue to get the errors. Well, you have 15, to. You know, one of your opponents is struggling. Keep testing them. That was so low over the net. So difficult to judge for Ortega. Skimming the net on the way through. 2-4-15-30. Oh, an absolute gem off the racket of Bria. Magnificent. 15-14. Into the fencing. What an angle that was. They had three break points on the trio serve. Couldn't convert. They've got another couple here. Convert one of these. They serve for their place in the final. And there it is, there is the roar from Delphi Bria. They have the double break and very shortly they'll be serving for their place in the Premier Paddle P1 Madrid final. Atenta a cantarme que me va a subir. 
Gracias, silencio, por favor, gracias. Cero quince. Serving for their place in the final. Got the cushion of a double break. Just slow to react. Zero, a a twist in the tail of this semi final. Oh, it was just enough on this from Trie. She was hoping for better contact, but that was enough. You know, just got to hang in because you never know. It's a different question when you're asking someone to close out a match and book your place in a final. The finish line is tantalizingly in sight. She read it, just couldn't get there in time, and they're on the board in the eighth game. Really has bought the power on that smash today. That is a massive strength of hers to be able to get it out the court like this. Top spin doing its job again. Couldn't get it up and over the court that time, though. Comes off the cage up there. The ball dramatically slows down in pace. You're not going to get the, the big rebound. Got to get it over. Didn't acknowledge the apology from Ortega. Break points for Trier and Ortega. They are a double break down. Always going back to Ortega all day long. 30 40. Second break point opportunity to claw one of the breaks back. Oh, ho, ho. Juice. Working that corner so Dios. well today. That has caused Ortega all sorts of problems, all match. Is Gonzalez going to have that rush of blood and try and finish off the point at an early stage, go for the big winner? How do they play these points? She went for it, she got it, the back wall was struck. And after an hour and 18 minutes, we have match point for the third seeds. Tiempo. Gracias. Match point. Replace in tomorrow's final to face the top seeds. Oh. 
They got it! It is game, set and match for Bia Gonzalez and Delphi Bria. And look at the delight. And not only is it a win, it is a comfortable win. 6-2, 6-2 against Marta Ortega and Gemma Trier. The Rome champions finish their run in Madrid at the semi-final stage. For Bria and Gonzalez, there is a final to play tomorrow. Well, that was near perfection, wasn't it? I mean, virtually did not put a foot wrong. Just a, a handful of mistakes. Oh, Bria played so well, as solid as she always is. Sprinkling in some magic as well. And Gonzalez absolutely everywhere around the court. The smashing was superb today. Oh, hey, the coach very happy and rightly so. That was some match. That was special, special stuff from Bria and Gonzalez to book their place in tomorrow's final where they'll face Ari Sanchez and Paula Jose Maria. Look at the celebration from Gonzalez. She said she wanted to refine her joy on the court and I think I think she's found it. I think she's happy. I think she's happy with her partner right now. And that is a massive part of this sport is getting along with your your partner. They've obviously got something really good going. This this long-term project is going very, very well. We're going to hear from them both very shortly. We'll run you through the match stats. A difficult day for Marta Ortega. It was hard. I think there was a lot of pressure on her shoulders. I think the expectation le levels were pretty high playing at home in front, front of friends and family. Her home city, born and raised here. And at times it was looking as if it was getting all too much for her. Too many errors, unfortunately, from her game today. And two and two, two. It felt a lot closer than that. The numbers are very good for Bria and Gonzalez. The break points are massive, glaring dif difference there. Four of 11 converted there. The unforced error count a few too many at times at important moments for Trier and Ortega. And 32 winners to just the 14 from their opponents. So a big golf in that department. Hence the two and two win. And Delphi Bria and Bia Gonzalez, the third seeds, our Madrid finalists are on the center of the court and they are ready to speak to Barbara Vitantonio. Big applause for Delfina Brea and Bea Gonzalez, who finally reached their first final in Premier Padel. Welcome to this first final in this Madrid Premier Padel P1. We start with you, Delfi. Uh, I want to resolve this calm that you've been able to have along all the match. Uh, how your uh, game was so firm, you were able to respond to each ball and you were following about this final, which was the plan? Hello everybody, first of all, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, it's spectacular to play in this court with this ambience. We are so, so happy. Of course, it's uh, an amazing experience, and today we think it was one of those days that you have the day, and uh, I want to say that the girls were so good. It's important to say that because they have an amazing level, so for us, uh, for us of course, it's uh, absolute happiness. Bea, logically, I want also to say about your match was amazing. Your game was super. You were there for all the points, all the transitions, opening, closing. You were doing absolutely everything. We want to know your first sensations. And we also want to welcome to the final. Of course, thank you very much. Thank you, Madrid, for one more day. It's spectacular to be here. Honestly, today I was a little bit more nervous than usually because of the scenario, about the situation of the match. Thank you very much. 
Y bueno, por otra parte, súper, súper feliz. Eh, no hay mayor satisfacción que la de trabajo. It was amazing to hecho, y, play y with the Delphi. She didn't mejor. have any single nada, bad detail. It was easy. Y, y It was amazing. And we are so happy. We a just think about chicas. tomorrow Nos vemos en la final. Uh, for the game of the final. See you tomorrow, girls. We wait for the last game of the day. We'll see you tomorrow in the final. Oh, thank you very much to Barbara Vita Antonio and to Delphi Bria and Bia Gonzalez, who we'll see tomorrow. We are going to see Barbara a little bit later because as she mentioned, after that straight set 6-2, to win. Got one match to go. Maxi Sanchez and Lucho Capra will be taking on the winners in Rome, but that is confirmation of your women's final tomorrow. The top seeds, runners up in Rome, Sanchez and Jose Maria take on Bria Gonzalez in their first Premier Paddle final. So stay with us. You've got about five minutes before we're back with Sanchez and Capra against Cuello and Tapia for a place in tomorrow's final. We'll see you soon from Madrid. Vamos preparando. 
cuando son 30 los segundos que quedan. The Madrid Arena. Everyone's having a good time. The music is pumping. The spectators are in. And we have one more match for you on semi-finals day. This is the Premier Paddle P1 event. It's the business end of the competition. So sit tight and stay right where you are. As the players, the action is on its way. Here's your road to the final as we listen to music because we are so excited because we're about to complete the lineup for the Madrid P1 event. Chingotto and Navarro are through the third seats, but will they be facing the winners from Rome, Cuello and Tapia, or will they be facing the pair in their first Premier Paddle final, Sanchez and Capra? DJ Arvin Palmer is on fire as he has been all week as we await Sanchez and Capra and Cuello and Tapia. Yeah, this match should be fireworks as well. Should be excellent. Cuello and Tapia, they have been on such good form this year. And Sanchez and Capra, last couple of matches have been absolutely excellent from them. So I'm hoping this is going to be a close one. And we're about to see the players brought out into centre court here at the Madrid Arena. The lights here, those amazing lights. I want some for my house. Up and down they go. They're <laughs> quite soothing, aren't they? Add in this music and those lights. It's a very soothing atmosphere as we get ready for the madness of the players arriving. Yeah, built the atmosphere very nicely. Fans have not left their seats between the last women's semi-finals and now this semi-finals. They're getting ready with the phones because they want that shot as the players walk out. Sanchez and Capra, who were together, split up, came back together, split up, came back together. And Cuello and Tapia, the sensation, the, the new generation of paddle player. So much power in Cuello's game. Tapia's just so good, so crafty, good with the angles. Tease up Cuello to finish off the points. He can boss you. He just is a, a bully at times. Is Cuello, so you have got to be so sharp from the very beginning of the match. Not sure the message got to the players that they were due out, but I hear they are ready. The doors are about to open and we're going to welcome the players out to the Madrid Arena. Will it be Sanchez and Capra through the doors? It will be Sanchez and Capra through the doors. They are the ninth Seeds. As I mentioned, they were together, they split up, they came back together, split up, back together, and a partnership that works through to their first Premier Paddle final, the hard work paying off. Yeah, certainly the, the win a couple of nights ago over LeBron and Gannon was special. They did not put a foot wrong. The level from them was incredibly high yesterday evening. The expectations were very high for them to reproduce a similar sort of match, and they were able to do that. They are playing some of the best paddle of their lives. I mean, Maxi Sanchez, 36 years of age. Uh, Capra, 29, but still playing at a very high level. They beat the number one pair in the world. They backed it up by beating Bergamini and Ruiz. But this task is a different one. This task is a tough one. These are the men who only one pair have beaten them this season. They won Rome. They're looking for Madrid.
Here they are, the six foot three frame on the left of your picture of Arturo Cuello, nickname of King Arthur, 20 years of age, and his partner, Augustine Tapia, 23 years of age, Argentina and Spain, they come from respectively. It was Tapia who made the call at the end of last season to Cuello, who said he would only leave Fernando Balastegin for Ale Gallen or Augustine Tapia, and it was Tapia who came calling. And that was a big call, wasn't it? Because it wasn't it as if they were playing poorly, uh, Cuello and Balastegin. So a big call from Cuello to say, you know what, I'm going to switch from one of the legends of the sport, Balastegin, to play with Tapia. But so far, it's been a very, very good choice. They are combining well, enjoying each other's company, similar sort of age, lots in common. Yeah, and Tapia didn't pay an awful lot in the Premier Paddle Tour last year due to contractual obligations, only a handful of tournaments for him, but now here he is. They won their first tournament together, that was in Abu Dhabi, and they picked up the Rome title here. Semi-final in Doha, beaten by Stupachuk and Deneno, the only pair to have beaten them this year so far. That is a task set for those two there. Maxi Sanchez, nickname of the shark, Lucho Cap. Nice nickname to have that. Quite scary nickname, isn't it? Here comes the shark. Former world number one, Maxi Sanchez. Awful lot of experience. In a sense, we've got youth against experience. Capra coming in at 30, just had his second child, second little girl. There we go, all smiles. Little memento. And now everyone's going to try and avoid calling the toss. Largely what happens. Just let you know they've got two video reviews, plus, plus players per set. Not normally any questions. Yeah, yeah. Loads of questions to see. Are we okay? Who's going to call it? Yep, they don't want to. They don't want to. He's having it. Here we go, bits and pieces done. We get to take a closer look at the players as we go through them. Last match of the day. Final finalists to be found and will be found. 7.30 in the evening. And we are starting with Maxi Sanchez, 36 years of age, former world number one, started playing paddle at the age of seven. Turned professional in 2006 after moving to Spain. He's a three-time Masters champion. He's partnered with Lucho Capra, 30 years of age from Argentina, lives in Madrid, came on the paddle tour in 2012. Separated from Sanchez at the end of last year after a second spell together, back for a third time together. Arturo Cuello, nickname of King Arthur from Spain, 1 meter 90, 20 years of age. Started playing at the age of seven, full time from the age of 10. Won three titles with Balastegin last year. There we go, that's waving the phone right. Five minutes call from the chair. It's a wonderful sight. Yeah, it is. Yeah, phones. Creating even more of an atmosphere. Augustine Tapia, your final player, 23 years of age, 1 meter 79 from Argentina, nicknamed the Cosmonaut or the Mozart of Catamarca when he was young, little chicken. Three words to describe him power, technique, explosiveness. Started on the Pro Tour in 2018. He's already played with Balastigin, Lima, and Sanyo. Interesting that this is the first partner that Tapia's had of a similar age. Yeah, 23 years of age, Tapia. Cuello, 20. But yeah, that list of players that you just mentioned, all legends of the sport as well. So uh, he is seriously good. We know that for the fact that all three of those players wanted to play with Tapia. And we've seen his class this year. We've seen his class this week. 
have, uh, okay, been a little up and down at times, but never in danger of going out the tournament. Almost feel as if they were kind of just playing within themselves, and that's always a, a great sign of a champion just doing enough to win. Why would you overplay if you don't have to? So I think to, tonight, though, they're going to have to take it up a level because Sanchez and Capra full of confidence. And again, they come in with nothing to lose. A very similar sort of mindset for them when they took on Galan and LeBron. Everyone was expecting them to, to win, and they were able to elevate their game that evening. I would say one thing, though, physically, how are Sanchez and Capra going to feel tonight? Because that's two nights in a row where they've played some very tough paddle. And uh, that does get to you eventually. So we'll see early stages where they are physically. And also mentally, this task of Cuello and Tapu, despite them being so young and so new together, it's already being seen as one of the toughest tasks in men's paddle at the moment to get the win over them. Yeah, I think just the combination, that the, the new brand of paddle that Cuello is playing, I think it's pretty intimidating. So it's, it's taking, taking some serious good paddle to beat them get close with them, put some scoreboard pressure on. And as, you, as, as in all sports, when you, you see the, the great players, you know, it's all well, such good front runners, you can't afford to give them the lead. Otherwise, they just really open up their shoulders and run away with things. So very important for, for Maxi Sanchez and Luciano Capra to keep it tight early on. The most games Cuello and Tapia have lost in a set this tournament is three. That was Tariqa and Gutierrez in the round of 16. But saying that Sanchez and Capra have not dropped a set. And as you mentioned, they got that round of 16 win over the top seeds Gallan and Laron to dethrone the defending champions. And then I think the important thing for Sanchez and Capra was backing up that result, which they did again in straight sets. Yeah, that was excellent yesterday. The first set was so so physical and Capra was covering everything at the net making those huge lunges and he, he, he managed to, to get through that match physically okay I guess there's a, there's a little chance maybe that they might switch off at times Cuello and Tapu we saw that in the quarterfinals where they lost that second set but they, they bounced back so well in the third and won at 6-2 Right, we've got a couple of minutes left. Even though we can still see the sunshine outside, inside, it's like a nightclub feel. That's the vibe they've done for. Yeah. I guess, I guess the, the, the fans and the players, certainly the players this week, so happy it's indoors. Because last week in Rome, it was roasting. 40 degrees plus. They actually had to stop play in the middle of the day for four hours or so just to to give the players a little bit more of a chance in that heat. Dangerous playing in that sort of heat, you know, essentially, which is what is a, a glass box, really. So there's not there's not much air playing in those sort of conditions outdoors on a court like this. We've seen the doctor called a handful of times here for dehydration. A bit of pickle juice consumed, some salt, blood pressure taken, and off they went again. It's been a wonderful venue this week, the Madrid Arena, and we should say that for the winning pair, there's a thousand points per player for winning this P1 level. If you're more used to tennis, it's effectively the Masters level. Then you have the four majors, the four Grand Slam equivalents, and then this is the Masters level. Yeah, the, there are four of these P1 events this year, four majors. We've had a couple of majors, a couple more to come. And this is the first P1 event of the year. P1 event just around the corner as well, a couple of weeks' time in Mendoza. Uh, Franco Stupichuk has written that after getting injured yesterday, he said to pull out of his next tournament, hoping, and of course he would be from Argentina, wanted to be fit from Mendoza. He's got a splint on the left wrist at the moment, so we wish him a speedy recovery. So here we go. Final semi-final of the day at the Premier Paddle P1 event from the Madrid Arena. And on show for you, the players we've just been talking about. The ninth seed, Maxi Sanchez and Lucho Capra taking on the fourth seeds, Arturo Cuello and Augustine Tapia. And it's the right to face Federico Chingotto, 
and Paquito Navarro. And should it be Cuello and Tapia, that will be a repeat of the Rome final where Cuello and Tapia came out on top. Final few words. But it is a, an exciting firebrand version of paddle that these two play. But you see that Capra and Sanchez, as you say, they're sort of playing with the house money now. They're enjoying themselves. They've got to their first premier paddle final. So in many ways, the pressure off. Stunning venue, isn't it? It really is. I love the lights. I do love the lights. I the atmosphere. This venue being used for tennis davis cup finals before they used to have the the old masters 1000 here as well back in the day late on in the year so it's a, a venue that has dealt with racket sports before so here we go first player into the cage is arturo cuello who takes the ball it was sanchez and capra who won the toss elected to receive Some final few words. He's got to let them go. They've got to go it alone. <laughs> oh, yes. You, you were asked to put your flash and your lights on, but now you've got to turn them off. Primer set. Oh, very good. Servicio, Arturo Cuello. Preparados. Are you ready? Silencio, por favor. Jueguen. Expect a bit of that. He's got such a long reach. Cuello. Man, mountain. Give you what is? Just dragged it a little bit. Wide. Augustine Tapia. This is his favourite shot. This is the backhand. see a lot of that as well <laughs> well that's his trademark isn't it the power on the smash it is ridiculous the biggest smash in the game there's no doubt about that I'd love to get the speed gun on it oh that was cheeky taking pace off it just catching Maxi Sanchez off guard there Game points. Possesses such power. It's a good get from Sanchez. A better pick up from Tapia. It's a hole to 15, and there's a game on the board. And they do tend to rattle through their service games and they're very quick between points well, it's good to see no hanging about no time wasting the game plan is pretty pretty simple i think for Koya and tapia very aggressive Koya looking to finish the point so just really having to focus on what they're doing rather than what the what the opponents are doing unless there's that obvious weakness yeah, the, the match is on their their rackets a servicio, Maxi Sánchez. Six foot tall, Maxi Sánchez. Ball's coming down from a good height. Love. 
makes it look so easy just to get that ball out of the game. Looked as if he hardly swung at that last 30, one. 15. All the players having to give, give that everything to get it over, but stroke that one over. <laughs> How about that for return of serve? Just popped up from Sanchez and put away by Cuello. He pounced on that. That first step was quick forward. Just check out Cuello there. 30 It's the perfect word for it. He pounces. Mm. It's like one of those big cats in the wild. Yeah. Sees its prey. You haven't got a chance. Pretty intimidating stuff early on. 30, 40. Drawing gasps from the fans, yes. the crowds here. Yeah, I expect a few more of those gasps as we go on. one way to win the point and maybe the only way at times to win the point well, I think it's a legitimate yes. legitimate way kind of just walked into that one Quay. he was trying to get out the way of it to get the smash on the rebound right off the foot Topspin off the back wall, up and out of their reach. Yes. Not trying to go over the back there. He knows exactly the shot he's trying to execute. Some big smashing going on here. Yeah, Maxi, go Maxi. Oh, the phones with the flash again. To be fair, sometimes Use. people just have it on auto and don't realise I've fallen foul like that a few times. Faults. Segundo servicio. Ventaja Capra Sánchez. I've seen that Jorge Martinez is up from the court and next door in the commentary mm. box. It's uh, been double dipping. They'll be back on court tomorrow for the women's final with Gonzalez and Bria. And we go on. We had. A minute for the Cuello yes. hold, and we're up to seven minutes of the match clock now. It's early in the match, but a, a game like this is vital for Sanchez and Capra. They lose it, they can just set the tone for the match. Yeah. 
Yeah, good call there from Tapia. Ventaja, Cuello Tapia. Second break point opportunity. At second service. Oh, ho, ho, ho. he wasn't far off it. Iguales. Yes. He is tall, and that's how good it's got to be. That's how high it's got to be. Otherwise, he's going to get a racket to it. go leave anything hanging it will be dispatched yeah, luxury to have that sort of power at your disposal just to end the point there and then third break point and the importance of this game is I mean it's rising with every point here I was thinking this was going over. He's pumped up, Capra. He's quite vocal. Fourth break point opportunity. Now 11 minutes on the match clock. You'd have put your house on him getting that. Well, he's just having to jump backwards there and jump high. Yes. Lop was landing deep. Four break point opportunities have come and gone. I think we can get a Capra roar if they hold here. And it's only the second game of the contest. There we go. Wow. That was tough. But they got it. And they've held. And it's a game of peace. A very important hold that. That will feel good. We know Cuellar and Tapia, very good front runners. Got to stick with them early stages. A servicio, Austin Tapia.
Gracias. 23 year old from Argentina, from Catamarca. Oh, angle. 15 love. It's a combination of having the power, but also the touch and feel. Oh, we read it. Oh, he picked it up. Unbelievable get from Tapia. Oh, well done, Lucho Capra. Well, that's his speciality as well, finding that aggressive angle, Capra. Seen that countless times the last couple of matches. It's not as tall, only five foot ten, but still possesses a lot of power. Augustine Tapia can really That's pack a punch. Mm. What happened there? Thirty-one is thirty. decelerated there. And get the contact. Oh, well done, Capra. Break point. He's everywhere again. He's such a big man, he moves so well. Gracias. I think we can give that game and that point to Lucho Capra. He was everywhere. And they've got the breakers serve. And they, the ninth seeds, lead by two games to one. Luciano Wow, what a start this has been for Maxi Sanchez and Lucho Capra. Fifteen love. It's been explosive and they've brought the energy and the intensity. They've had to. Quinti Wallace, 15 on. Oh. 
30, 15. Beautifully placed, well struck, game points. 40, Getting it to climb 40, off the back 50. wall. Gracias, por favor. Ooh, how about that? Juego, Capra, Point, Gana. game, consolidation, 3-1. Oh, making some early Three statements games, in this first set. I mean, look at the way he just threw himself into that smash. And I guess that's what they needed to do against a pair like this. They had to come out on the front foot. Mm, to make those statements. You can't allow yourself to be bossed around the court. You've got to do some of the bossing. Gracias. Oh, wow. It was the ball on the angle from Capra that set up the high ball to be smashed away from Sanchez. Yeah, smashing so well at the minute. He's taking a lot of the glory. So they're working so well as a team. Oh, but now we're hearing the noise. Quay, the frustration from Cuello. Got to wrestle some of the momentum away from Capra. Sanchez. I'm also trying to keep the ball low because they don't want to give the opportunity 30, for the smash for the opponents. Looking up there, Cuello. Something catches his eye, but 30, oh. that was unusual for him. Big miss. Big point here. Oh. Cuello, he got distracted. He looked across the tap. He wanted to see where he was. He wasn't in the position. He nets the overhead and it's break point. This was a good reflex. But again, after he misses it, he's looking up. What's 30, up there 40. that's bothering him? It's not just the lovely lights, they've no. been switched off. Maybe he's just looking for that excuse there for, for a couple of poor misses in a row. Would you believe? A point for the double break. Bolts. Saved. You often hear this emotion. I mean, Tapia, they're both quite sort of mild mannered characters, but the situation bringing it out in them. What hands, incredible. And Sanchez eventually taken by surprise. I don't think he expected the, the second one back from Cuello. There we go, wow, what a roar from both of them. And that's just a hold of serve. 
Three, they were roaring two. as if they'd broken, but it is Sanchez and Capra with the break. And the 3 2 lead. Right, game on in the last of the semi-finals we have for you today. It's a five o'clock start local time tomorrow for the finals, starting with Ari Sanchez and Paula Jose Maria. Top seeds against the third seeds, Delphi Bria and Bia Gonzalez. Then it'll be followed by the men's, Navarro and Chigotto against the winner of this match. And it's advantage, Sanchez and Capra with the break. Can go to the video review. They got two. That's the first video. Oh no. Yeah. Thank you to Augustine Tapia. And Arturo Cuellar. It doesn't feel as big a gesture as in tennis if you're giving someone a first serve again. Mm. No, I think, uh, it feels yes. as if it's just a done thing. Yeah. Because, as I say, largely, you do not largely win the point off the serve. And serving doesn't have the same sort of dominance as it does in tennis. Game for Wallace. 15 all. Sometimes the umpire misses the call and then actually called out by the players. <laughs> couldn't get it deep enough. Play up, couldn't get it high enough, deep enough. Again, more good smashing from Maxi. Yeah, he's showing Quay how it's done right now. Huh. Tapia's having words, it's all right, it's going to come good. Oh, a lovely disguise from Capra. Didn't see it coming. Tapia into his body. 40, 15. Just being clinical right now. Quarenta, trenta, forty, thirty. Four games to two. Defending that. I mean, it's how long they can keep this level up for. They've come out firing out the blocks. Great energy about them. That just shows you how important that first hold was. The one all. They've been flying ever since. It gave them a lot of confidence and belief. Yeah, they saved four break points. In for zero. 15 love. Uh, 
Reda Ferro. Thirty love. Treinta quince, thirty fifteen. Oh, he got it. He read it, but the court is open. <laughs> Tapia says enough is enough. He finishes it off. But a great save earlier in the point for Maxi Sanchez. Well, I don't think we're going to see many better points in this Defender match than that. What a it. get that was from Sanchez. 40-15. Did well just to stay calm, Cuello and Tapia. Reset. There's the game. Still trailed by a break. It is Sanchez and Capra who, after 29 minutes, lead the Rome champions by a break in 4-3. Sí, no, fue, no tuve tanta fuerza para impulsarme. Luego le faltó el segundo salto. Importante. Siguen, Maxi, Marvalucho, siguen restando de revés. Ahora han querido cambiar a Globo sí, sí, sí. y dejaron tres cortas. Entonces siguen no, redos rulos fácil. ¿Vale? El primero le digo que la bola este fue tan buena, llegó Tapia y me hizo así. Bien. Y me salió chotísima. Pero yo no me tengo que devolver tan loco, boludo, que yo vaya un poco por ahí. Eh, Arturo. Quinto cero. Fifteen love. Treinta cero. Thirty love. Thirty, 
Gracias. Tiempo. Oh, we've got some impatient spectators. He's got to do his shoelaces up or we're going to have an accident. Ooh, just a little heavy handed there in the back in the game now, Cuello and Tapia. Missed that by quite a way, Maxi. So, an important point coming up here on the Capra serve. And it was a good one, it was aggressive. Right in the Quite corner, made it difficult for Quayo. 40 30. Great volleys. Juego. Really deep into the corners, make it impossible to get something on it, and they are one game away from the first set. Gracias. As much as they appreciate what they're seeing, there's almost a stunned silence at what they're maybe not seeing from Tapia and Cuello. I don't think anyone expected this. Didn't see this coming at the beginning of the set. out Keen try and go it. straight through your opponent 15 love yeah going to win it every time gracias treinta a cero 30 love Up and over the ball enough, Tapia, leaning backwards as well. Por favor. Fault. Peach of a volley from Capra. Got that disguise to it as well, just flicking it around nicely. Got it bouncing into the sidewall. It's made this game interesting. Oh my word, he top edged it. It nearly landed near our commentary box and it's set point. Right off the top there. Just going for so much, but that's all pressure. Behind in the score. Set point after 37 minutes. Oh, hello. Por favor, por favor. Gracias. We're not there yet. Gracias. Los jugadores están preparados. Por favor.
They have broken for a second time, the Rome champions, and they have closed out the set six games to three. They will start serving in set two. The ninth seeds are now a set away from the Madrid final. He's got the place rocking again. Great atmosphere. Yes. A fair few of them didn't expect that outcome in the first set. Sanchez and Capra absolutely brilliant. Cuellar and Tapia had the break points early on. Weren't able to convert any of those five in that second game. They paid the price. Two of four converted by Sanchez and Capra. Similar on the winners. Segundo set. Sanchez and Capra playing the big points well. The bonus to breaking to win the set is means you kick off Gracias. serving in the next set favor, as long as you can hold your serve you keep the advantage Gracias. And I think we know that these two guys have got a, a couple of gears that they can get through whether they can find them or not, we'll have to wait and see. Can Sanchez and Capra keep their level as high as it was in the first set? Oh! oh. Is the adrenaline coursing through the Capra body? Lost the team. wasn't a call and Tapi had it covered he was there Quayle was trying to hit it on the turn didn't see Tapia coming no call from him lucky That's for Capra and Sanchez well that would have been break points Which it now is. 30, 40.
There's the break. There's a reaction from Cuellar. There's a reaction from Tapia. They're on the board in the second set. Well, they were given the in. A couple of errors to begin with in that game from Capra. He's still got to close out the game and they do it well. He's trying to get the fans involved as well. Get loud, get their support. It's just evidence there, wasn't it? You just drop your game, drop your guard just for one or two points. Oh. And it's then very difficult. A servicio, Arturo Cuello. They'll play quickly here now, Cuello and Tapia. 15 love. Already ready. Gracias. Fifteen you uncharacteristic errors from Augustine Tapia this evening. Oh, he leapt Sanchez, but even if he'd made the touch, he touched the net. Thirty fifteen. False. Just 20 years of age, Arturo Cuello. Gracias. Last season when he was with Belastica, many people tipping him to be a future world number one. It's a lovely little angle found by the Argentinian to bring up game points. They're going to consolidate this early break. Sanchez. And he is everywhere. He's been everywhere for the last couple of matches. He has moved so well. 36, more like 26. That is what they were looking to do consolidate the early break for a 2 love lead. Two games to love. Yeah, get some momentum, wrestled that away. Got to get greedy here and look for another breaker serve. Holtz. Por favor. It's all been, all been about the power in this match so far. Tapia bringing it there. Too many subtleties being used so far. Gracias, por favor. Guarden silencio. Who can survive? Ball is thundered down. All heights, all angles. Expected a response, didn't we, in the second set? Yeah. We're seeing it. Got the bit between the teeth after getting that break in the first game. Yeah, 
chance. Wants to hit the, the fencing there. Lap of the gods, which way that's going to bounce. 15-13. Break points for a double break. Give the ball in there. 15, 14. Let's finish the video. Second video. Gracias, por favor, por favor. Los jugadores. All they're a restless bunch, aren't they? <laughs> it doesn't take much. It doesn't, yes. does it? Yes. You know that. Got to be kidding me. Player doing so well. I'll see you and I'll raise you there. Thank you very much. 30, 40. Oh, that is a beautiful bit, bit of skill and just Gracias. calmness. As it was all happening in front of him there. That's a way to save a break point. Must feel lucky. Deserves a bonus point there. <laughs> was that good? We'll have to send that to the video referees. <laughs> Second break point here. Oh, he wasn't far off, Tapia, from sneaking that over. Yes. Speed from Sanchez there was good. And Capra knew it. to the body, all cramped up. That wasn't easy. Game point from 15.40 down. Oh, again! How calm was Capra? And he knows exactly where the space is, just to, to give it the right amount too. See if he was going to play the backhand volley and all of a sudden it's a forehand volley. Have to switch quickly.
Oh, my word. Maxi Sanchez, take a bow. The reflexes were off the charts good. He comes with a whole lot of success and so much experience. He's showing it today again. Whew. Former world number one, three-time Masters champion Maxi Sanchez. That was Jose, the cleaner of the cage. Gracias. Very popular figure on the Premier Paddle circuit. We all want him to come and clean our windows. Yes. Feeling a little bit like the second game of the first set that had the four break point opportunities. On the Sanchez serve on that occasion, did go on to hold. Fourth seed's looking for a double break here. Juice. To get themselves on the board in the second set, having taken the first set by six games to three, break down in the second. This to get up and running. And there it is, it's not coming back. They're on the board, so have a couple of break points, but it is 2-1, Cuello and Tapia with the break. Exactly sure what the delay was at the change of ends here. Maybe the score was called wrongly and quickly corrected. And Tapia left the court. Gracias. Quick Me bathroom break. Everyone's back. Still got the break of serve here. Well, that's a good start to the game. Flexing the power again. 15 love. Well, he loads up. The body. 
Leaves nothing behind. That's in. Good hands again from Cuello. 30-0. Have to add a bit of pace to it as well. The smash is back, isn't it, for Arturo Cuello? Yeah, he's not holding back. It's all about delivering it at the right time. Ooh. Oh, well, that's a bit of showboating, and that's the first bit of real touch we've seen. Many one in this match. Three games to one. So much backspin to that. Look at that. Stops in its tracks. It's got the lob wedge out. And that was a love hold and a very quick game upon the resumption. They've done one each now. In the pair, 15 laughs. Again, that's because they're going to crunch it. Not sure they get that ball back. Mm -hmm. Long gone. Someone's pocket. Yep. Anyone got it? <laughs> nope. Gracias. Well, the intent was there, but the delivery not. Oh, he's <laughs> done unbelievably well there to get out the way of the smash, jumping over it. And then on the, on the turn, playing this backhand volley, that was very impressive. So much wrist work there. Bring it down. A little dink off the top of the cage there helped him out. It just bought him a, se a, a second or two extra. That was the one he could track it. 15, 13. Get himself shaped to play this shot right into the net. No chance for Capra. He was able to compose himself. They want that double break. He didn't get it in the previous game. Oh, they go again. And then they crowd. They have 20 seconds. Too good. Just working that angle. That was very difficult for Sanchez. A lunge out to his left the whole time in that point. They had two break points on the Capra serve in the previous service game from the ninth seas. They now have two opportunities to break the Sanchez serve to get the double break. Tiempo. Gracias. Well, today, the umpires are having to hurry the players on. Too good. Very good Cuello game Tapia. from Cuello and Tapia. It's been a good reaction. They've got what they've been looking for, and that's the double break and now 4 1 lead. No, no. 
Nos cambiamos de juego. Eso, estamos, hemos cambiado de juego. La, la velocidad con que ha querido jugar ha hecho que nosotros empezamos a jugar más deprisa, con un golpe menos. Eso es lo que le decía. Y ahí, eso es. Y ahí ya nosotros somos más débiles. ¿eh? Sí, más que nosotros somos más débiles y nosotros más fuertes. Pues más fuertes, vale. Pues lo podemos definir así. Perfecto, ¿eh? No, me tengo que pegar a la red cuando... No. Cuando Lu... Cuando... Si hay escucha, si él te tira volcada, sí. no es estupa que te, te come la red. Claro, me tengo que quedar. No, pero no, no, la dinámica era que yo estaba haciendo un poco y ahora voy y Auta me saca, me tiro dos blows, Arturo también. Vale, ¿sí? Ahí voy para atrás, en una se me quedó la de Arturo, no, lo que me quedó. Digo, la pegada tiene que ser 99% de efectiva, o sea, si le pegamos, si la queda y no le pegamos, no la no traemos, no pasa nada, pero no tenemos que buscar pegada rápida, porque no le vamos no. a pillar. No, y, y ellos quieren eso, salir corriendo, rescatar, ahí eso, 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 eso no, bueno, no llego a hacer bandeja y Lu me dice que tire rulo. O rulo, tirale así una porquería de última. Sí, él, él, él la quiere. No, cruzada, cruzada, cruzada. Sí, pero se va a cruzar tú. ¿Eh? Se va a cruzar tú. Pero si, si vos escuchas, yo te canto atrás. Ah, te queda caja así, te tiras así, me ha cruzado, la pared costado, él la va a dejar pasar y, te va, y vos te paras, te quedas paradito. Tengamos claro que la propuesta suya es. Ahora esto está jugando, ya te lo voy a subir. Sí, sí, sí. Vale, bueno. Vamos acá. Vamos, vamos a intentar este poquito, ¿vale? Por lo menos para ir jugando bien de fondo, ¿vale? They have what they were looking for, the double break. Lost the first set. Aaron, three minutes on the clock. Yeah, this is all out brute force now. Yeah, they're, 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 they're on a roll. I'm going to close this out as, as quickly as possible. This is going to be an intense game, you feel, from them. 30 and if you're you know, Sanchez is, uh, and Capra, I think you just conserve a bit of energy as well. Chances of you getting back in are difficult. Not sure they're going to give it everything. Oh, what a reach that was, and the pace that he found from behind him there. Portugal. Tiempo. Por favor. Gracias. That was quick. It was clean. It was decisive, and it's five one. Back love holds now for Tapia and Cuello. Tells you the level at which they're playing right now. Yeah. 
No, pero, te, pero tenés que cantar cuando tenés que cantar, no la puedes cantar cuando querés. Pero justo ha sido un segundo después. Y si un segundo en esto es un montón. Question is, was it above waist height? Mm, the ball it. when he bounced it. Well, he's, he's, he's been called it the last couple of matches actually, once it was overturned and once it was upheld. It's right on the edge. Something you might have to look at as it's happening a few times. We go to our video review team. Voice you can hear slightly muffled is he has another headset, so that's him chatting away with the video review team. We have an answer. La revisión de vídeo ha decidido que el saque es bueno. Primer servicio. Saying it was good, Gracias. he said I saw por it favor. different, but that's why the review system is there. Por favor. It's the first serve. Gracias. Primer Again. servicio. Gracias, por favor. Los jugadores están preparados. Let's primer servicio. Love to get the job done here. Quite a champion, so they would kick things off in the deciding set. It feels as if this set's gone a little bit flat at the moment. Lost a bit of its edge. They will have to serve for it very shortly. Because that is a hold off the Capra serve. 5 2, Cuello and Tapia.
toppling over. So much spin on that one. He did pretty well to get as close as he did to it. He was kind of leaning back on his heels there. I like the final countdown music, pumping everyone up as the four seeds look to close out the set. Looks like they were doing that very shortly. Mm. Count down to the third set. Yeah. Navarro and Chingotto awaiting the winners. There we go. I think now for Capra and Sanchez, as you said before, conserve a little bit of energy. This set's done. This race is run. Triple set point. Gracias, por favor. Los jugadores están preparados. And that's it, a hold to love, a 6-2 set, and we play on. There will be a one-set shooter to decide who contests tomorrow's Madrid Premier Paddle P1 final. The fourth seed back in it. They close it out by six games to two. That's the music we needed to get us ready for the third set after a second set for the fourth seed. Yeah, a lot more comprehensive in that second seed, the second set, excuse me, for Juan Tapia. I able to convert Ultimo two of those five break points. No break points this time around for Sanchez and Capra. Maximiliano Sanchez. Gracias, por favor. Maximiliano Sanchez to serve. Gracias. How important is this service game? Thirty six years of age, Maxi Sanchez. Both teams are going to give it their absolute everything. One set shootout. Going to hold nothing back here. Spot in tomorrow's final up for grabs.
Oh, what a point. Sort of great little touches. Yeah, starting to see a slight tactical shift as well now. Not as much power Give being used. Minutes. More angles, more touch, changes of pace. Both playing it slightly differently at the minute. I think that's a Capra fan there. <laughs> she can't believe it. Couldn't believe it. The rea reactions and the contrasts of other fans happy with the miss. Side of the cage, just falling backwards. 30, 15. Oh, this is a big game. Game points, the ninth seed. That second set was the first set they've dropped at this tournament. He knows he should have done better than that. 40, 30. So he closed it out there. Oh, what a pick up that little Chiquita. It dipped down and it died at the feet of Capra. It just forces him to hit up there. What a shot that was from a low position. That takes so much feel from back there. And it was low for him. It's unlike Tapia to miss that by quite that distance. Tweener didn't work, it hits the back wall. Oh, that's a good hold, it's an important hold for Sanchez and Cabra because it gets them on the board in the deciding set. And after losing that second set pretty quickly, pretty convincingly, needed to open their account straight away and put some scoreboard pressure, I think always serving first. It's just that slight advantage, I think, especially the sharp end of the set. here supporters of all four excellent crowd within these four walls the Madrid arena He's looking to try and poach Quayo. Keep digging it deep to Tapia. Oh, can't believe the bounce there. Kinthi Wallace, 15 on. Oh. 
Segundo servicio. Just kept coming at him with power. It's difficult game. to control that volley on the reflex. 15, 15. Game points. 14-15. Right place, right time. 40, 40. Oh, he was across quickly. He knew exactly 40, what was coming. Now well, it's his job to deal with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Yeah. Just trying to push that yeah. forehand inside yeah. out over the net doesn't make it. Game of peace. Lucio Capra, Premier Paddle, gave him a, a little toy for his baby daughter, Francesca, earlier in the tournament. Lives here in Madrid with his wife and two young girls. Fair of Love you, Steve. He's going to be a busy man now. Yeah. He's not going to have much spare time. Or we're not asleep. <laughs> <laughs> this is where a spare room comes very handy. Yeah, and earplugs. Him the side of the cage. I mean, everyone's running all over the place at the moment. won the day in the end how did they steal that point away well Tapa you can understand his frustration because of the backhand should have gone out of the court there but he couldn't do it he missed his opportunity now it's Cuello and Tapia just taking a few extra seconds Turn with the forehand. Fifteen thirteen. This is a little opening now for the fourth seed semi finalists in Doha, winners in Rome. Lovely bit of disguise and a flick of the wrist from Sanchez. Mm, just looked as if he held on to that Wallace. shot. It was a fraction longer. Quayle was just moving to his left. He was covering the middle. No way for him to get back. Trinta, 
40, 30. They're a pair who separated at the end of 2021. They got back together after five events. They separated at the end of 2022 and got back together in May after six months apart. It looks like they were meant to be together, Capra and Sanchez. So that is all out attack. How good was that? Wow. Who won this? Yes. Such an impressive injection of pace. Can't say Sanchez wasn't committed to the cause there. Juice. Can have some carpet burn. Yeah, it is a rough surface to land <laughs> on. <laughs> Sting in the shower. Capra, big smile on his face, gives Maxi Sanchez a little cuddle. <laughs> they have played all of their matches this week with a huge smile on their face. I think they're realising how well they're playing, how well they're competing, and they're enjoying themselves amongst this battle. Which could still go either way. This game, as we get another player who's going to have some carpet burns, Arturo Cuello goes the way of Sanchez and Capra. And Aaron, 32 on the match clock, 2-1 on serve early stages. No, no tienen salida, boludo. Ahora. Ellos no tienen tan claro dónde salir. Ellos están jugando con nuestros errores. Pero ahora estamos donde queríamos. En volumen de juego. Eso es lo que necesitamos. Eso es lo que hemos encontrado al principio del partido. Sí, cuando Tapia hace punto ganador esa salida de pared así, a mí me gusta. Que haga punto ganador. Pero que no gane con cagada. Me acomode, me acomode. Excelente, pero lo claro. La bandeja esa que tiene. Tiempo. Servicio Agustín Tapia, con bolas nuevas. Every point, every game, precious. Deciding set, place in the final, the prize for the winners this evening. It is just gone quarter past Gracias. nine in the evening local time. Thoughts. And it is Augustine Tapia, the 23-year-old. Nicknames the cosmonaut, Mozart of Catamarca, and when he was young, Little Chicken. Have a feeling that was a, a family nickname. Ooh, oh! Now we've had a third of the four on the floor. Now, did he get a touch? I think he's going to get his towel. Third game for him. Law 15. Yes, he did, he did, is the answer. He did. We just need Tapia to fall over now. We, we've got the set. Wow, what a...
what a get that was. Gracias, por favor. Giving everything Silencio, for the cause. And a little bit more. They're leaving it all yes. out there. back ricocheted back at a lovely height for Sanchez got something going Good. here yeah. some pressure on Cuello and Tapia now Gracias. that's a good position at the net to smash that away 15 30. 30 30 Amazing how quickly the advantage is wiped out. Break point. 30, 40. Gracias, por favor. Try to be aggressive with the backhand. Didn't pay off. Yes. Gracias. Yeah, that's how you be aggressive. Sort of a snarl from Augustine Tapia as he put that away. I wasn't having to backtrack. Oh, and again, two big putaways. The break point is saved, and it's two games all. Two games all. Well, whatever you can do, I can do just as well from Cuello. He's been in the gym. He's been working on the plyometrics. Such high hang time. He leaps like a salmon. <laughs> <laughs> Making me hungry. <laughs> yeah. well, it's 20 past nine in the evening. <laughs> And the smell of hot dogs wafting around the arena where we are. It's leaning backwards. Zero quinte. Get. Low 15. Up behind the ball enough to bring it down. Oh, Thirty. Low 30. Dangerous times now for Sanchez and Capra. gone for that that's a let off Tapia was perfectly placed and he knows it got to forgive and forget pretty quickly Gracias.
Freddy Juárez. Del Tío. Thirty game points. Forty thirty. Oh, he splits the pair, he charges off court. From Love 30, they hold serve 3 2 final set. Sí, pero eso es para lobo. No. Es que tiene una verga. Sí, se la puede haber bajado, se la cambió. Sí, lobo, sí. Te tiró otra verga, estaba bien, boludo. Perfecto. No se fue a la primera. No, pero... Por eso ahí dije, ¿Sí? otro lobo Escuchá, o por abajo. Podría haber sido abajo. incluso la primera porque te quedó para tirarla. Sí, pero bien? no sabía que iba para abajo. Pero bien, por eso, bien que aguantaste una más igual. Pero el es perfecto también. Las dos jugadas estaban perfectas. Vuelves a armar otra vez el globo. Pero esto sabe por lo general, porque le haces así y volvés y me dale. Luna, vamos a volver a quedar. Dale, queda vos también, mira para adelante. Vamos, a nuestro el otro va a caer. Tomen sus asientos, los jugadores están preparados. Gracias. Segundo servicio. Quinto cero. Fifteen love. He is a walking highlight reel at the minute. He is so pumped up, Capra. Just has to touch Gracias. the opponent's side of the court. That's all it needs to do. And there's less and less wriggle room as we go deeper in this decider. Fifteen. He just hung in the air. And Maxi Sanchez, the sharp bit. Thirteen. 
Second serve at 30 all. 2-3 in the third. Wow. That was so close. 40, 30. Difficulty was finding was pushing Cuello and Tapia back from the net. Had to go for the lob. And just missed. He's read it. He's got it. Oh, yeah. What's a review? What's your reviewing? Nothing wrong with that. No Apologising now, Tapia. I think it's been cleared up. And normally they can resolve it among themselves. Mm -hmm. From Capra. Still got smiles on the faces. They have. Good to see. And the pressure cooker. Still playing with the right attitude. Wasn't good enough from Tapia. That was the volley, not enough on it. Easy pickings for Sanchez. Holt. Oh, ran past it. Oh. Almost got it after it touched the fence there. Three games all, middling part, deciding set. A lot Three on the line. Lost. Three games all. And very little to choose between the pairs right now. Por favor, los jugadores están preparados. Gracias. Fifteen love. Into the body. 
Difficult to reflex when you're that close to the net. Just want to keep their noses in front, Sanchez and Capra. Game points for four, three deciding set. Ortilla. The needle wins the point, takes the game in the lead 4 3 deciding set. DJ's on fire, the players are on fire, the spectators are enjoying themselves. Room for error, not a lot right now. Gracias. Por favor, apaga el flash del móvil. Gracias. Oh, really? After an hour and 50? Come on. Turn your flash. Gracias. Or maybe they were waving it to the music at the change events. Waltz. Very well left. Not easy Better to judge that. Roll 15. Good start to the game. Getting that early pressure on them. Reminder that tomorrow the final start at 5 p.m. local time. Women's followed by the men's. There's an awful lot of pointing at each other now, isn't there? They win the point. There's a lot of this. Lot of you got this. We got this. What a move. What execution. Did well not to go over the hoardings here as well. That's put the brakes on. Going backwards there at the end. Wow. Yes. Oh, they've opened a little window of opportunity. 15 30, 3 4. They break here. They serve for the place in the final. It's a great serve. So deep there. I think it was on the line. Slams that window shut for now.
Well done, well done. It's going to be hard to say goodbye to one of these pairs. Mm. 40, 30. So tough to pick a winner right now. It's so tight. Five minutes shy of two hours on the match clock. Game point for four all. Oh, 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 the fake, the behind, the thinking. He is thinking right now, Tapia. And from 15.30, it's for all. That was cheeky. Very good. Capra covering the middle. Uh, he knew he'd been got there. And this is what it's all about. Thinking, thinking clearly under pressure. Making those good decisions under pressure. Here we go. Maxi Sanchez to serve. Quinto zero. Fifteen love. Very low. Difficult to dig out, and this is an excellent turning into an excellent game for Sanchez and Capra. Chance of a love hold. Sanchez was about to serve to no one. Tapia is now ready. Points for 5 4. Block that back, Maxi Sanchez. Oh, wow. What a point. A love hold. A four all for five four. An incredible block from Maxi Sanchez. And they now well and truly put the pressure on the fourth seeds. Dicho esto, si jugamos por abajo, vamos a lucharla como sea. Si nos queda difícil, la tenemos por abajo, la tenemos que agarrar como sea. Vamos a hacer hincapié en que Lu restó dos, tres buenas por abajo. Y jugamos el punto y a los dos. A vos no, te quedó globo, acá y a mí me quedó acá. Globo, globo corto, boludo. Sí. Vamos a pinchárselo. Sí. Vamos a pincharselo. Dale. En la de Agu me volvió tan chote, boludo, que me quedó... Vamos a hacerle... Si, si, si la primera bola, si en el resto... Tiempo. Si realizamos el saque y hacemos el punto... Well, here we go. Serving to stay in the semi-final on serve. Gracias, por favor. What a hold that was by Maxi Sanchez. <laughs> All 
important first point Fair goes against the serve. Law 15. Three points from the final. Mm, that was edgy. Gracias. No wriggle room left now. So often finds the touch. Miles off there, not sure what happened. Infi Wallace, 15 on. Such an acute yeah. angle he was going for. It was a tough ask. 40-15. Just held it a fraction of a second. At the corner of his eye, he could just see what Sanchez was doing there. He was looking Gracias. across. Five, Five games all, deciding set. Five games all. Who's going to blink first? I must say, this has got tie break vibes. Tiempo <laughs> resto. Right, pressure's mounting. Gracias. All that wriggle room now gone. Final up for grabs. Quinto cero, 15 love. Gonna have a sore arm tomorrow, Sanchez. He's rising to the occasion, isn't he? And, and he's, he's playing some incredibly good points right now. But he's sucking in the oxygen. Give you one 15 all. Looks exhausted. Looking to the fans, I think, for a lift. It's not been the longest of matches, it's just over two hours, but the work they have put in, very physical encounter.
Well, he's stolen that point away. Not quite sure what Sensich was doing on that shot. This one he was hoping that was going to land wide, and it was the awkward bounce there. 15 13. Gracias, por favor. Por favor. Five all. Los jugadores están preparados. 15 30. Gracias. Outstanding how much power he got from up there on the backhand side. He is stepping up right Feet now, Tapia. 15 14. Two hours, seven minutes. Tiempo. Points to serve for their place in the final and back to back Premier Paddle finals. Gracias. They've got it into the net of the forehand of Sanchez. And very shortly, they'll be stepping up the four seeds of the Rome champions to serve for their place in Sunday's final. 6-5 they lead. I can say I can see Jorge Martin as the comps box next to us rocking out <laughs> to Queen. He's got a final to prepare for tomorrow. I think it's a bit of daddy dancing to tell you the truth <laughs> going on, but good effort, great atmosphere. What a game that was. What a steal of a break that was out of nowhere. Two hours, eight minutes serving for their place in tomorrow's final to face Paquito Navarro and Federico Chingotto. I don't write these two off though. They right? are tough customers. Good fortune coming off the net court there. Oh, he's missed it. He was there. And that's a bonus. He looked like he was going to comfortably be make contact. Just missed it. Oh, swipe and a miss. Too good. Two points away. Still got 
That power when he needs it the most. 30 15. Gracias. Cry of Vamos, because after two hours and ten minutes of high octane paddle, we've got match points for the fourth seed. We've come from a set down and are now a point away from the Madrid final. Gracias. Unreal. The point of the tournament, no question. 40, 30. Wow. How on earth did Capra make that backhand behind his back? That was exceptional. Whew. Now just another one to go. Match point number two. Well, well, we, well. We, we knew they weren't going to die wondering in this game. Yes. Giving it everything. What a volley. Cutting the angle there, Capra. We've talked about this. It does deserve a tie break. Gracias. Los jugadores están preparados, por favor. Whew. Oh, he's done it again! He's gone down the line for the winner. A flailing Cuello, and we've got a break back point. Well, this pressure right now is bringing the best out of them. What a string of points this has been. What the last five or ten minutes this has been. The quality has been off the charts. Everyone wants to see the tie break, apart from Cuello and Tapia. Yes. Oh, it's hit oh! him. It's hit him. What a time to get an X cord. Cannot believe it. Jumped straight into it. He was getting out the way of it, ready for the rebound. Off the shoulder. We go again. Juice had a break point. We've had two match points. Oops. And it will now be a third match point to the fourth seeds. Capra taking his time to use his towel. Two hours 15. Match point number three for the four seeds in the Rome champions. He's missed it. 
He has missed it. And a cracking semi final comes to an end. Two hours, 15 minutes. The Rome champions are through. 3 6, 6 2, 7 5. What an exhibition of paddle. What a contest between these two teams. Phenomenal stuff we've seen out here this evening. One of the great sets of paddle that was. That third set was off the charts good. Tapia really stepping it up in the last couple of games there. MVP there towards the end and Cuello holding his nerve there towards as well. Yes, it was a huge mental effort to get through that one. The first set didn't go as well as they would have liked but responded well in the second and that third set Gigi that was anyone's until the very last second wow and they were made to work for it they really were I think we're going to get a round of applause for Catherine Sanchez there we go a little round of applause they're disappointed now, but they'll look back and be so proud of their efforts here. Pushed Cuello and Tapia all the way, a team that people cannot beat. Yes, you can take a set off them, but they are not defeated. Just Deneno and Stupichuk have beaten them twice this year. That is how good they are, but they pushed them all the way to the very end. And that, those lack of losses, which is a very good thing for them, I think in those moments, it helps you. Knowing you've been so difficult to beat, you have that confidence under pressure that you're the ones that are eventually going to come through and prevail. And Kuea can afford himself a, a smile there as that final ball. And Kappa just landing out. And the physical effort from all four players covered every inch of the court tonight. So many positives for Capra and Sanchez back together again this year to take forward. They'll be in Mendoza. They'll be tough to beat if they can keep that level, that focus. Very then, shortly, we'll hear from the players. Yeah, after the numbers we look back were the brilliant. The break points, three of 13, two of nine for Sanchez and Capra. And it came down to a few winners and unforced errors there towards the end. More winners for Cleo and Tapia, 64 to the 51, and a few fewer, fewer unforced errors as well. So tight there towards the end. We're missing a player on court. Barbara Vitantonio is awaiting with Arturo Cuello. Augustine Tapia is making his way to the center of the cage to be interviewed by Barbara Vitantonio. Thank you to the four players. That was an impressive game. That was amazing. We're going to have an amazing memory of these semifinals of the P1 Madrid Premier Padel. And of course, big applause for Lucho Capra and Maxi Sanchez. Of course, we have to recognize the game of the four because the game was amazing, but we have winners. You can celebrate your place in Rome and actually you have the opportunity to arrive to the final in Madrid. Can you analyze a little bit what happened in this game? Well, good afternoon, almost good night. I'm so happy when we start the beginning of the game. We could see a version of Lucho and Maxi amazing. They were playing so good and we, are, we were not playing that good. And we tried to fight for the set. They were giving us so much game and uh, suddenly they came a little bit down. So we tried to uh, step on the front and have an amazing game. It is a really strong couple. They fight with everything. We really want to congratulate them because they fight amazing. It was an amazing game and we finally uh, got that, but it was so um, just for both of us. Finally, have the, the also the luck to give it, and we have tomorrow we're going to enjoy for an amazing final. 
¿Cómo terminaron o cómo terminaste físicamente? Y Agustín, saber, how did you finish mental, physically? Banco, And we also want to know about the mental side, side because we know in the bench Bienvenido it was a lot of a work of that. Welcome final. to another final in the <laughs> Premier Panel. Buenas noches, terminé. Well, good night. I finished really tired, but we will have time to recover. But first, please let me uh, congratulate the guys because they are not only good players, but also amazing persons. Yeah, I love to fight against them. I'm playing so happy, and I think we can feel that. Today it was not much paddle from my part and for some moments I was ashamed for the people who paid for the show. But if we play, if we win with paddle, we win, we win with paddle, if we win with a fight, so we win with a fight, and that was what happened today. I want to say thank you to the family, and I was to dedicate this game to them, so thank you so much, and see you tomorrow. Thank you for everybody, thank you Madrid, we hope we We wait for you tomorrow on the finals. Thank you very much to Barbara. So thank you, Barbara. And thank you to, well, the four men out there this evening. It was an incredible encounter. We'll be back with you tomorrow, five o'clock local time. Enjoy the rest of your day till then. Todavía porque los campeones van a lanzar pelotas. Atentos, atentos.